I definitely want this. Cause oh, I wonder if I can get them to run into. He's quick. Yes. Huh. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. Pretty quick. Huh? Okay, that was great. Uh, Eli, you are the coldest, coldest <laughs> son of a bitch who has fucked me over, over, and over. First of all, okay, first of all, Eli, Cold blood killer. first of all, first uh -huh. of all, Eli, you touched my ass, and then you punched me, and then you- Whoa there. And then you shot me. And then after you shot me, you just- Aw, uh, thank you, Tilo, for all those bits. I really appreciate it, but- uh, you know you don't have to do that. Have a good stream, man. I'm gonna go chill in Sean's chat. Absolutely, again, thank you very much for stopping by, and thank you for those bits. I really do appreciate it. And absolutely, everyone who is watching, who is able to, go check out Tilo's, um, stream. Uh, they have some awesome content. There we go. But again, thank you very much for all that. Max crying. Tina. Sounds like it. I think I really make out of laughter, Tina. And here's the thing, Tina. <laughs> Tina. Drinking is bad. Oh. Okay, that one's not so good. <laughs> I can feel like back it, back here. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> oh my god, I swear. I hate you both for that. Uh, I hate you both for that. All right, how do I do the school comment was amazing. <sighs> well, I'm glad that you were able to get me back for that. Um. Okay. Oh, I gotta get rid of the. You you made it very believable. I will be honest. It was a very believable thing. Oh, I wonder if I can do this. <laughs> yeah, they do a little, uh, what's it called? Pure. So confused. Yes, basically just have just it's only seven wait, seven PM? So you're you've gotta be on the west coast then, I'm assuming. Okay. Yeah, you gotta be on like the west coast. Wrong place to go. Oh Well then. See? I can't do stuff. I overthink like that's my biggest issue is I overthink every movement. I, I literally overthink everything. Holy... There's the husky we all know. Oh, a dead husky? Quite, Thanks. Quite dead. Um, so this body is right outside of O2. I chose not to go into canisters with him, because that's a small confined room. And then I did canisters, and then three seconds later, he's dead. Oh, right. God. Let's take a moment of silence for a husky and... Um... <laughs> We only have 105 seconds. Okay. <laughs> it's pain back in the end. <laughs> it is. It basically is. <laughs> you noticed. You know the new one I was about. Yeah, I I think way too much. I Probably because they want to jump from here, more than likely. Blow up my own stuff, but that's okay. Losing ground. Got ah! Got one more. Got him. There we go. Uh, 
Welcome, welcome. Hey, Shelby. Yes, the clip. I saw it. Trust me. <clears throat> oh, oh, hair. Why you do this hair? Mm. Already? I'm not even, like, barely started. And it oh, looks garbage. Uh, my power level will be over 9,000, but I also want to make good drink decisions are hard. Well, whichever one you want to do, Joe's, how are you doing? And oh yeah, Mark, let me do these. You gotta make me do them. We're like barely getting started. Come on. How's everyone doing? Let me uh bring this up. Also, the boxes. If you if you saw in the Discord, uh it's gonna be a long night. My goodness. Um if you if you saw in the Discord, I have uh doing okay just going through tiktoks and making me smile nice that's always a good thing uh i was like scrolling through tiktoks i get lost in them sometimes but uh i actually just did one right almost right before getting on not a chill stream for you tonight no apparently not uh all right let me do these alligator drags I'm gonna do the same thing as before I'm gonna... sorry about that uh it's enjoyable and mind numbing. It really is. It really is. All right, gotta do these. Give me a word to take down. Fun. Two. Five. Oh. <sighs> okay. The stack. Yes, yeah, so I've got a ton of uh all these boxes here <clears throat> are filled with Pokemon cards. I counted them last night and today. And, um, what did I say? I said some, I said the amount in the Discord. Where's my other? Oh, 7,635 cards total. So, oh, it took me a while to do that. But how's everyone doing? How is, uh, how's everyone's weekend been going? Whew, okay. Yeah, those definitely wear me out a little bit. Whew. Check something. Uh, I know for me, it was a, it was a good weekend overall. Oh my goodness. Um, today was a little bit hectic because I got started late and everything. <clears throat> my goodness. But uh, it was definitely. It was a good day still. Like I said, I got all these counted up. Would be better if I could sell a car, but otherwise, okay. I feel that. I know how difficult that can be. Um, I'm sure that it'll, it'll happen, though. You know, that's, that's definitely something that you have to... I figured you have to work for. Um, and, yeah... Cause I know I don't think when I bought mine it was that easy for I, oh, I'm sure like it's not easy overall I mean granted I kind of went in with an idea of what I wanted for mine so a little bit different and there's a wyvern and by well salesman of the month that's awesome congrats on that jazz this month nada you never know though you never know um it could happen all of a sudden so you know just keep positive with it sure it'll ha i'm sure something will happen i need me to lose 17 coins broken can't wait for payday soon that's always a feeling have to admit yesterday it was weird uh since i watch your streams usually but I end up playing a game and talking to my friends it's always nice though if i was a mustang tesla the new f-150 ooh. see okay my dad actually has a mustang um and thank you wyvern for the lurk i appreciate it um 
yeah my dad actually bought a mustang a few months ago i think it was like two or three now and then i've got my camaro so uh we both have newer mine's a 2017 and it i mine ah uh, i always forget that every single time an f-150 that's electric that's actually really nice There, it's changed, okay? I'm sorry that I always forget. Need to do one thing with this current overlay. Actually, uh, where is it? I just always forget. Don't... You, questions you don't need to worry about. I always forget. I was too busy getting things set up for Friday's stream today. That's That's my main reason for that. Uh, I was really busy with trying to make sure that everything for Friday is set up as it needs to be. I just need to change something on this just yet. Do I have to send you? I mean, you can. It'll, it it may help. It may not, but it may help. You never know. Um, wanted to change the settings on this a little bit. So, sure, blame Friday. I am. I mean, it's still my fault, but... You know, I'm still saying that it, it was because I was getting things set up for this coming Friday. I fully accept responsibility for not changing it. I'll do my best. I mean, you don't have to. If I forget, I'm probably going to keep forgetting no matter what. So I'm not that worried about it. Um, Actually. Yeah, disable that. Apologies, I'm just I'm just getting well I realized something else I needed to change up a bit. Disable that. But how is everyone um what so so I kind of um I've been kind of on the subject of wins lately. And not in like video game wins. Video game wins are I mean someone's got <laughs> I mean, if you forget, then it's okay. Then I then that means I forget. So I'm not that worried about it. Like I said, um, yeah, that's what it is. So yeah, I've been I've been on the subject of wins lately, uh, for myself. That's kind of where the title of today's stream kind of comes from. Is that I, I'm curious as to what everyone's wins are for the day, um, or for for the the month or for this this year so far i may have found a girlfriend things have been going with that that is awesome that's always a, a positive thing and always a win how did you meet uh first of all and what are they like what is she like if you are if you are okay with telling us obviously save that that's gonna refresh a little bit my hair is doing things i don't like but oh well i can't Took a great food this morning, not to <laughs> You know what, Mark? That's always a good thing. I yeah. I can't blame you on that. Dating apps, she's very kind. That's awesome. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Absolutely. Do this. It was refreshing. I bet it was. That would be refreshing. Uh duplicate this into that and this is something, again, I haven't done, but I also haven't really worried about this that much. Into this. And then... This. Refresh this. Again, I apologize I'm doing all this now. Um, just want to get it done and taken care of. Do you need to move? It was supposed to be an hour and a half. So I to extend it and turn left and do a beautiful stray dog and help to get helped get her to a shelter. It was found today by the owner and will be home safe. That's all oh, that's a huge plus. That's a huge win, I think. Um that's really awesome. I'm glad to hear that though. Um, yeah, that, that's, I was supposed to say an hour and a half walk. Oh, okay. I was like, I thought maybe a drive. I was gonna be like, that's, 
I mean, it's still a long drive, and that's still awesome. Can I not click? Can I, okay, there we go. Move all of this. Put it right there. Extend everything over. That over. Let's save that and see how that looks. That's not. Nope. Stop by before falling asleep and sleep. <laughs> always. It's always fun stuff here. Tapped out for wins other than the video games. Hey, I mean, video games are win video game wins are always wins as well. I just figure there's, I think a lot of people focus on things like that for wins. 29 pounds from working out. So my year is going well there. That is huge. That's awesome. I'm glad to hear that. I know that can be a, um, a lot, especially when you like, when you visualize what 29 pounds is, that becomes a huge win. Make sure. I think everything's lined up. But yes, congrats on that. At least until I edit together my recording of cooking. Making my first TikTok and a cooking YouTube video. Nice. What did you end up making? Or if you want, uh, I would love to see that. So if you want to post it in the Discord when you do make that um, or make that video, then that would be great. Um, but yes, congrats on the 29 pounds. It's at least half the size of my ego. I mean, hey, it's at least something then. Okay, I got to put this a little bit more frustrating than I wanted to be. Nope. Lock that. Why did it just do that? What did you end up doing to to get or to um lose that? Mark. That should be okay. Perfect. Now, this here, and then both of these go. Perfect. That's so much better. <clears throat> hey, what's going on, Amp? Welcome, welcome. Just getting a few things edited and changed around. Trainer and all the random workouts I've been giving you are the weird ones I've been getting from her. That's okay. That's a good way to do it. Definitely a good way to do it. Exit from there. We don't need that up. Actually, I do want stream elements up still. <laughs> How are you doing though, Amp? How has your weekend been? Bring up stream elements so we can have that up. I got to lurk for a little bit. I just got home from being at a water park all day. Got to get myself together. No problem. We'll be here. No worries. Um, but yeah, so I know... Again, I want to hear what everyone's wins are. Um, I guess even though Mark already, uh, Mark and Jazz both talked. Um, Simmons, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. Um, I'd love to hear anyone else's. Oh, I forgot. Oh no, it's been that long. It has been, but that's okay. Um, I know for me, so a few of my wins. Um, again, I've talked about it. Um, what flavor? Today we are doing we are we have ice shatter. It's the Mortal Kombat uh Sub Zero, as you can tell, flavor. Um from G Fuel. Because they did Sub Zero's Ice Shatter and they did Scorpion's Scorpion Sting. So and you lost all of them, Jazz. No, no, we can't be losing them. Definitely suggest it. This is a very good flavor. Um, the scorpion sting is a little bit on the spicy side, which makes sense. Literally haven't tried G fuel before. I suggested I may be a little bit addicted, <laughs> but, um, it, I'm better off without them. I get that. I mean, granted, they're all just for having fun with anyway. Um, I have, let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 tubs. I have 19 tubs of G fuel. 18 flavors because one of those tubs is the exact same flavor oops i derailed the chat no you're good you're good yeah i've got too many why do you think you can't have a uh, have G um g fuel jazz caffeine and i don't work well ah that makes sense i mean i will say um this is that flavor by the way ice shatter i, I again again i suggest it um how much caffeine does i think it's got like I'm trying to see if it's got an amount on here 
has 140 milligrams of caffeine. So really, it's not a ton. Um, it's really just enough to keep you going for a little while. It, there's no like spike in energy. There's nothing like that. It, it's um, very minimal. Uh, to be honest, it's nothing like a cup of coffee. Um, you know, a caffeine pill, none of that. It, it's actually really good. It also has no sugar. Um, only 15 calories. Some of them are like 25. So coffee, I don't drink. And see, that's good. Yeah, because coffee's got way too much. Considering I drink every morning, I drink... Um, I keep, my keep going juice is normally Gatorade. That's actually good. Uh, I don't I don't like Gatorade that much. My morning coffee is Deathwish coffee, which is so good. It's actually really good for being as dark and as bitter as it is. Uh, I really like it. I don't need that much sugar in it to to get it to a point that I enjoy. Um, but yeah, I I suggest feel like I said I've got so I've got I I I buy them and like usually when I buy them I have. Like, there's usually some sort of a sale going on. Like, when I got the G the Mortal Kombat flavors, I got both of them. And then I also got Mega Potion because they were doing, like, a buy one, get one free. And you could get a mystery flavor, uh, a classified one. Or no, wait, classified was Black Friday, maybe. I don't remember. There was that. You know, I got, like, for, I have two shakers. Sonic, which I got with the Peach Rings flavor. And then a, a Code Vein one which I've got with the two tubs of typo because both of them have the the main protagonist on one of them and then one of the uh, female characters on the other. Started drinking coffee in the past few days due to working a really nice roast beans coffee. Uh, so make myself a black coffee with a caramel wafer or chocolate bar dipped in it. That sounds amazing. I know when I worked at uh, Barnes & Noble in the cafe, uh, we sold these little caramel wafer or wafers with like caramel inside uh, i can't remember what they're called but they're they're really good and you're supposed to put that um it, it you're supposed to put that like on top of your coffee it warms the inside of it and it's so good then you can dip it in and it's even better uh it has the main protagonist so it has like i think it's the one they use in the promotional material uh this is him hard to tell because my camera doesn't autofocus or else it's just going to jump around. So yeah, so... <clears throat> um, the female character is... Uh, have you played... Um, yeah, have you played Code Vein yet, Jazz? Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, you do create your own character. It's the one in the... the just the promotional. So it has Mia uh, for the other one. I did too. I I mean, I think you were there when I played... I played it three times. I do have it... Um. I'll show you because I actually have it now. We're going to end up playing it some other time. Um, make sure we are on. Um, <clears throat> I've got it here. Because we're going to be playing it at some point to, to do like a comparison between the PC and console gaming, which I'm excited for. Um, yeah, and then I get that. I'm I'm super excited to play it on PC. Honestly, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I also did, and you can't see the, actually. You can see them because now I can do this. Um, I've also got all three of the God Eater games because they had the anime sale, uh, in May, and it was like God Eater. The God Eater games were on sale. Code Vein was on sale. Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, um, Tales of games were on sale. So I got. Code Vein, God Eater Resurrection, God Eater 2 Rage Burst, God Eater 3, Dot Hack GU Last Recode, even though I've got it on uh, PS4. And then, um, there we go. And then I also had pre purchased um, Scarlet Nexus as well, which we are going to be playing that on uh, not Friday, not this coming Friday. It'll be the next Friday. It'll be the 25th is when we play that. Um, I need to also, I actually have not played any of the dot hack GU games. I just want to fall into bad, into old bad addictions. I feel that. Um, it's definitely one that I know I'm, I'm going to love. I always tell people like, cause a lot of people I think don't know what dot hack is. And I'm like, how do you not know what dot hack is? And I always tell them what it is. 
dot hack was was sword art online before sword art online was a thing because you had um you had dot hack sign which was like back in like early maybe early 2000 stayed up all during school playing the gu series years ago i need it that was a series i always wanted to play i do have the original dot hack actually i think i think sign probably actually came i'm gonna move this over here so i can actually see chat dot hack sign came out 2002 it ran from 2002 uh or april 2002 to september 2002 sign was like second or third i think i thought sign was the first one what um I don't remember. I thought it, I hmm. Well, best thing to do is to go uh look at the, all the dot hack stuff. Hey, what's going on, Eli? How are you doing? I say dot hack. Here we go. Uh games, anime, they don't have them in like an order. Wait, they have project dot hack and then they have dot hack conglomerate. Okay, so there you go. Oh, I think Simmons, I think you just do Oh, there you go. Yep. Doing alright, just hanging out. Good. Good to hear. Um Okay, no, it says it project.hack was the first project of the dot hack series. It launched in 2002 with the anime series dot hack sign in April 2002 and the PlayStation 2 game dot hack infection in June 2002. So uh, it was dot hack sign that was first. As I say, it goes the uh, it goes dual the user and then the amount. I think you actually have to put an amount in. Um, but yeah, so I loved it. I have read. So I've read. Dot hack link. I've read. I have dot hack. I've got a bunch of dot hack stuff up there. Um. I've played like two of the four original dot hack games. I have seen. Oh, yeah, that's true. You might be able to do that actually. You're, you're I think you're right on that. Um I'm trying to think. The oh, I've seen all of dot hack roots. Um I've read all of the dot hack legend of the twilight, I think. The video game I watched it it was hard to get rid of. I actually do have dot hack sign. I think now, I have to look. I've got a bunch of anime down there. Um, I didn't realize they actually have a trading card game. I want to get. I want to buy just all the all the uh, the cards. Had five ex five separate expansions. Also, that's insane. I just want to buy all that. That's probably super expensive to buy all that though now. It probably is super expensive. And I don't like that. Usually stuff that has like a limited run like that ends up being pretty expensive. Um, But yeah, I definitely... uh, Dang, Eli, taking all everyone's coins. That you're about... Ah, does it? Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Always, anyone, please let me know if there if you ever see or hear any kind of issues uh, i'll be back i need to go get food absolutely we will be here no worries but yeah definitely let me know if there's any any issues or anything that you see that doesn't make sense um so i can change it uh, i i appreciate it i'm all about that mike is working is that an issue that is an issue dang it <laughs> I had to. Drags. Oh no. Okay, let me let me update this first and then I will do that for you. Um need to go to settings. There. That's better. 
All right, give me all your dragon. Yeah, my arms hurt. Also, Eli again. I, I was telling them earlier. These are all my cards. I did get them all. Like I, I think all of them are counted, except for like some random ones over there. Plus my energy cards, and yeah, I think that's it. And then like the cards that I can't sell. Like there's so really quick. There's these cards. Um. There are these cards. So these, actually, I'll, I'll do this. There's these cards that are like they're technically what are called secret rares because they are outside of the original set. Thank you. Oh, I, I could just want to change that. I will definitely change that. So there's these, but everywhere that I go to look to sell them says says no secret rares from evolutions, which these are from because they're not technically like they're secret rares, but they're not anywhere near the value. Like these are worth like maybe 25 cents. I'm like, well, that's not worth it. And then there's all these, all of these. If you look at the, at, um, yeah, wrong one. And that's from the detective Pikachu movie. And, um, yeah, all of them say uh, they're like all hollow rare and hollow, um, common uncommon or like reverse hollow, except detective Pikachu commons and uncommons and hot and rares. And I'm like, why, why can't I, you, I sell you these. But it's because literally the entire set, the entire time, like anytime you pull, you open up the Detective Pikachu packs, all of them were hollow. And it's like, they don't want that. They're just garbage. They're, they're literally worth like 10 cents, unless it's like specific cards. I'm like, come on, please. I just want to get rid of them. So if anyone wants any extra Pokemon cards, I will literally give you that whole stack. Like... I'll just ask for shipping and that's it. And shipping is like maybe I think five bucks for all that, probably. So I would do that. I, I really would actually. All right, let me do these drags. Four. What's going on, Professor Hitch? Yeah, I was gonna say that would be something too. Um Although right now I don't know how much they're accepting things like that. Just because of COVID and everything. <sighs> um what's going on, Hitch? How are you doing? I did actually I had a whole set, like a whole complete set from that uh from Detective Pikachu. It was missing like one card. And I gave it to my my mom's my mom's co-worker's daughter's son um and he loved them he absolutely loved them i was like when i find the the last card i need i will let you know and i'll get it to you somehow so i still have to buy that one card i don't know how much it is it's a greninja card but um very warm and cannot sleep is it now can you not sleep because it's warm if that's the case, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry that I'm out of breath. Ugh. Where's the Detective Pikachu at? I wanted to see. I don't think this card, those cards are that much. Redeemed Hydrate, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Hitch. Let me make sure this is... Over over the exercise, Redeemed. <laughs> you do it if you want. That is what it's there for. Mm. Oh, there's a tactic picture. Pass right by it. 
Make him do lunge? No. I hate lunges. Oh, green is not bad. It's like less than five bucks. I could order that and have it sent to them. And say, hey, here you go. Here's from Alex. At least it's not leg day. It was just be one set of the real ones that have me up. I I bet. Um, it's really muggy right now. I get that. That's how it gets here in Michigan. It's it's bad. Um, no, it wasn't leg day. Today was just <laughs> Oh. Oh. The same way same up here. Yeah, it, I can imagine. Do it, Eli. Do them. Do them. Um, yeah, today was just all a little bit of everything. It was a full body workout. But yeah, so you like come lunge into bed with me. Oh, 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 wait, I wanted to get put music. That's right. Forgetting about everything right now, I swear. A little loud for me. I don't want to be that loud for you either. Came back in an interesting time. You really did. Hopefully, is how is that? Is it? Is that too quiet? Hopefully, it's not too quiet. <clears throat> Ugh. It's fine, gotcha. Perfect. Just wanted to make sure. I don't want it to be like overbearingly loud. That'd be the last thing I want. But yeah, so let me see. I'm trying to think. Oh, spikes get a bit loud. Makes sense. I actually felt really good. There you go. I'm trying to like. I'm still trying to really figure out the mixer. Did five reach like that's that's how I would do it anyway, because like I do 15 on my leg day and I do f I do basically right leg left leg. That's one. So remember, I need to work on my D&D &D campaign to work to go. Absolutely. Jazz, thank you very much for stopping by. Have fun with working on your uh, on your D&D &D campaign. It's been an odd weekend. Nearly saw someone die on TV. Some people went through I'm actually feeling okay, but not stress me out over time all the time. That's good. Um, I'm sorry to hear that, that you saw that. That's insane. I've not heard anything about that. Just want to be super active. Absolutely, Jess. No problem. I understand. Your excuse to get up and stretch a little bit. See, exactly. That's always a good thing. What that is. Ugh. But yes, yeah, so uh that's insane. I've I like I said, I have not heard anything about that. Which I guess could be a good thing for me. That's uh, that's that's scary. That's scary to even like think that that's happening or that has happened at all. Oh, but yeah. Um, Eli, I talk and and Hitch also because I, I, again, if you notice the, the title of the stream, um, kind of as a jump jumping off point for uh, kind of since we're doing it just chatting. Also, I need to move this back. Um, what, what are, what do you, what have you had this year, this month, or, you know, just even today, um, that you consider wins? Um, I know I, I, cause Mark and Simmons and Jazz kind of talked about, or I don't think Simmons actually did. I don't believe Simmons did. Um, but really like, what are some wins that you've had? Like for me, kind of talked about some things, uh, here on stream already, you know, um, the fact that, you know, I finally have made the announcement of moving to Vegas. Um, that's a big win for me because again, never really thought I would move out of Michigan. Um, so just making steps towards that is a huge win. Oh, credit cards all paid off. Both my credit cards are paid off, which is really nice. Thank you very much, Jazz. It's going to be a, it's going to be a fun time. But up now I've got a few things to watch, something on YouTube. I speak about wins. Okay. No, you're good. I, I've. 
with so much going on i apologize but yeah enjoy uh enjoy watching on youtube simmons thank you for stopping by i appreciate it um but yeah you know paid off both my credit cards which is a super nice feeling that just happened like last week so um there's that um i think even or the fact that like right now i weigh i last i weighed myself on tuesday so i, I could do another weigh in on this coming tuesday um last time i weighed in i was 140 pounds which is more than where i started at i started at 136 back in november um since that's when i started with my trainer my newest trainer and um the thing was like we had worked to drop down i dropped down to like one it's either about 130 or 131 i don't remember let me see i'm actually curious how far i dropped down to then get back to where i'm at um 131.2 is as far as i dropped down um yeah i thought i dropped to 130 at some point but no i didn't and climbing back up to 140 and then like looking at the pictures i posted actually on um i posted the comparison pictures on my instagram on my story and seeing the difference but at the same time not so much of a difference between 136 back in november to 140 now is insane because i look in my opinion just as good if not better i think than i did at 136 because it's more muscle gains it's not fat gains which is big um actually going about bulking the right way is a huge thing um if you do it incorrectly you gain you know you gain worse things which is just also weird for me because for the last like year and a half before or actually really last year roughly it's been a journey to lose weight while also gaining muscle well now it's with this new tr with my newest trainer it's been let's lose let's let's keep the muscle you have and lose the fat and then now we're at a point okay we can't really slim down anymore like any more slimming will come with as we bulk so let's work on bulking and getting that down um and, and getting that muscle built up so it, it's huge it's it's very different i'm not used to it but it's a really nice feeling to be more than where i was and actually be happy to be at 140 pounds rather than be at 136 and want to lose more weight i'm just trying to lose the 25 pounds hey that's always good though um always if honestly like i've always i've always like had people ask me about help um and about like any suggestions so if you ever are looking for suggestions let me know um i can do what i can i'm not obviously a trainer i'm taking advice from someone else um but i do i i do what i can to help others um because i know some some people need the, just a little bit of a push and they're good to go um but otherwise you know good luck I, you have this i know you do um, I don't know where like my end goal is. That's the funny thing is like being at one. I didn't think I was going to go back up to 140, which is weird. I think the only two that are coming to mind for me right now are having dropped down to 180 pounds. I'm still hovering around that, which is good. Progress we've done around this house with all the remodeling work and other work we've done towards getting this place cleaned up, cleaned out and pretty up. That's good. That's really good. And those are some huge wins, I think. Um, I think a lot of people forget about like the things of uh, basically just what what wins are and about bragging about them like um the big thing that like i learned from some of my first trainers even now after not being with them um is mainly just you know actually celebrate the wins that you make don't feel bad about you know being positive and essentially bragging about your wins that you you are accomplishing something so be proud of that um i think that's a big thing my main methods are long walks, swimming, and stop eating, eating when I'm full. That's always good. 185 when those are last, and you just keep my weight down for my heart. That's always a good thing, though. It and that's those are honestly some great ways to start. Um, yeah, honestly, like the long walks are good because they're they're good for cardio. Uh, swimming is also really good for that. And then eating, a lot of people kind of forget about the eating portion, or they they take it too far, where they'll eat like. A thousand calories and they'll be done and it's like no you do need more food than that to actually lose weight surprisingly enough 
um you need to be in like the right calorie deficit um or else what your body does is it goes into a, a starvation mode where then it's like okay we need to hold on to everything that we are that we are getting because if we don't then we're going to die long bus trip this week to buy japanese food so i call that a win that's awesome that's a huge win um and definitely like like celebrate your wins you know be proud of them i think a lot of people because there's such a negative thought uh if you don't even know if you're buying it exactly exactly like that's and i think that's what a lot of people where a lot of people fall into the trap of like let me let me eat as few as little as i possibly can no it's not about that. It's also not about, you know, not having carbs because your body still needs carbs. It's not about having no fat because your body still needs fat. Your body still needs all those things. It's just how they're proportioned and what you do with them. You know, obviously, if you eat too much fat, if you have way too much fat in your diet, then your body is going to hold on to all of it. But if you don't have enough, your joints don't get enough. Um and your brain doesn't get enough either i'm carving up tonight because i'm swimming right and early that's a really good idea definitely because those carbs are going to give you that long lasting energy uh for the next day so that's a huge way to go about it um and again i think a lot of people are just afraid of carbs and 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 you really don't need to be if you're having them properly there's they're no more dangerous than your the proteins you get um and a lot of people don't get enough protein either as surprising as that can be all right, I'm back. Welcome back, Amp. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? How was uh how was the water park? And how has your weekend been overall? It's weird like not having talked to everyone yesterday. I'm not if uh, go when it is too hot, I feel like not eating at all. And I get that. Um and and that's definitely something that like it takes more willpower to to push through. Uh, but definitely for sure you need you still need some kind of food obviously if you're full then don't but um oh, <laughs> when did you get crypto plane what mark is there actually a crypto named amp and burnt to shell no oh no amp that's not good but yeah hitch i get that though um i mean i i've learned like what i need to eat and i pretty much have my meals like tracked today was a little bit rough because i literally ran out of chicken um so i had to make my food after i went not a oh yeah, hundred dang there you go um that's actually another win that's another win um i made a little bit of money moves in my stocks that i have uh we're really but yeah um with my food it's like i've got my stuff all set out i know what i'm having for the week um I really should be prepping it like Sunday, but I don't because even though I already know what I'm having, so it helps. It just sucks when like the store is out of something, so then I get thrown off a little bit. Um, but like to this time, the store was out of chicken breast. How are you out of chicken breast? I don't know. So instead, I just got lower fat turkey and having that. So, um, but yeah, I made some moves with my stocks, which is a huge thing for me. Um, I had this one stock. Um, where's my Robin Hood at? I had this one stock that I bought back in early February uh, because people were thinking it was actually going to it was going to go up pretty high um, because t looking at the time frame and everything, it was it's it was uh, Urban One and it's a um, African-American owned. Oh, it jumped up. Oh, well, I don't have it anymore. That's OK. Um. I bought it back when it was six dollars. Let me see. I bought it. I I bought forty dollars and seventy seven cents of it. It was at six ninety two at that point. I sold it um, earlier this or earlier last week for a total of ninety eight dollars and seventy five cents at sixteen dollars and seventy six cents. So I over doubled what I had put into it. And then I put that all into this company, um, Cleveland Cliffs, which is in Ohio. It is a steel. Um, it's a steel company. And literally already I, I bought it on. Where's my. 
Where's my like buy history on it? There we go. I bought it on the 9th and um I'm already up a total of $14.40. So I'm like, all right, I'm winning. That's good. Um, plus my overall portfolio is up. So that's always a good thing. You know, learning learning the market is definitely a helpful thing. Uh, again, I'm sad that I didn't hold on to Urban One a little bit more because it did spike up to $24 um, today at noon. But you know what? That happens. Can't look back. Got to just keep looking forward. Um, Dogecoin, I haven't even touched. It keeps. It's just a little bit too volatile for me. Uh, oh, also, what's going on, Nick Dithy? Welcome. How are you doing? I should also say a third win was finding something I've been enjoying learning and practicing in my free time, Mixology. There are very few things I've ever properly enjoyed over the past 13 years. That is really cool. Um, Eli, you have to share some of the stuff that you find, some of the recipes you find. If you're ever looking for nerd drinks you want to try making um, or maybe get some inspiration from, I always suggest the Drunken Moogle. If you look that up, um, they have a ton of stuff. They haven't updated in like two years, I think. But they've got a lot of really cool recipes, a lot of video game related ones. Um, I definitely suggest it. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely try. Try or uh, check out Drunken Moogle. Ton of stuff. You can look for specific video games, which is great. A uh, recent one for me is getting the couple's gaming room mainly set up. Nice. Decorations need to be put up, but the desk and computers are all set up. That's so cool, Amp. Can't Once you get it all set up, let's see pictures. I want to see that. That would be really cool. I uh, can't lie, my doge went from 100 initial to into 2000 to like 300. Yeah, I so I yeah, I screwed up a little bit with mine. Um, I did a panic sell. So I had bought back in early January. I paid nine dollars and 16 cents. I got 909 units and I sold it for the forty dollars and 77 cents. Um, and I kept kind of going back and forth. Um, so I made like over four times as much as I put in, but that was also after it hit up to 50 cents. Yeah. Uh, or no, after it hit five cents and then started dropping back down. So I was like panic sell. I panic sold it and now it's up to like 30 and it hit up to 50 or 70 the one, one point. So I was like, man, I should have held it. But you know what? I'm like, eh. My biggest thing I've learned with stocks, don't focus on where you on what you had and where you where like what you could have had. Just focus um and like like my team leader has said, like first of all focus on what you have now. And the biggest thing is the two most important days of any stock that you have, and at this point any crypto you have, is the day you buy it and the day you sell it. So the fact that I still went up, that's a great thing. I don't care. I don't care at that point. Like, yeah, you know, it sucks that I could have had several hundred dollars in it, but at, you know, I'm not too worried. Um, you ever tried the Limon electric? I have not tried that. Let me look that up. Uh, jazz Limon electric lemonade. Is it just electric lemonade has citron vodka? Oh, I'm tr I'm saving this. Saved. Definitely gonna try it sometime. Oh, should we put up this week? Nice. Uh, I ha got to have. A yes, it was at like 75 cents. So I was upset when I saw that because I could have had like nine. I think it was, I think I did the math. And it was like 900 was how much I could have had. But I'm like, nah. You know what? I'm not that worried about it. It um, again. I don't have any more, so I'm not going to look back. And like I said, like the same thing with the Urban One. Yeah, it sucks. I don't have any more because I could have had quite a bit more when I sold if I would have sold it at twenty four dollars. You know, what? I don't have any more. So not that big of a deal. Um, also got to have a lovely chat with a lovely new Twitch person called Snicks. Nice. Uh, I find it hard to talk to people. So that's another win. That's always good, though. You know, what? that's a huge thing to um to meet someone like that uh, and to be able to talk to them. And Jazz Dragon Rin, Jazz Dragon Rin, is showing off to everyone that that their power it's 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 over nine thousand. That's what it does. That's all it does, Mark. That's all it does. That is literally literally the only thing. 
yeah there is it, it just is showing off how much how many points <laughs> worth glad that's the only like impression i feel like i can ever do kind of okay well there's some there's some impressions that's why i i used to um have like an impressions one because i was like oh but then no one ever redeemed it so i was like eh wish i could be over nine thousand. now it's the end of vegeta i'm not i'm i mean i'm short enough but i'm not toned enough to do vegeta wish i could be over nine thousand. i mean eventually that's why I literally have the that at one or nine thousand and one uh bolts. It's literally it literally costs just over nine thousand. Although I found out, I don't know if anyone else knows this. You just don't see his body under his armor. You know he's toned. <laughs> I just found this out though. The original line from DBZ, Dragon Ball Vegeta cosplay, I would make that a sub goal if I knew how much it costs well no it's actually not it's not that it's not said but it is said it originally was and in the japanese translation it actually is it's his power is over eight thousand it's not over nine thousand it's over eight thousand i'm like so they just completely went off the reason they said that they they made it um 9,000 instead of 8,000 because they said that 9,000 fit better with his lip movements. Exactly. I will, I will pull it up. Oh gosh. I gotta see. It's actually not a bad cosplay. I would need a dancer's belt. What the? What was that noise? I don't know what that noise was uh that's actually not bad i mean i kind of honestly i feel like i would like to make his his armor piece myself because i think that would be that'd be good that'd be cool to make i've known this i literally just found out thanks to a post in on facebook i was like it's what um I'm gonna pull it up. It's over nine thousand. I love that Wikipedia. It has its own page on Wikipedia. <clears throat> uh, so let me. How do I? I like. How do I zoom in? I always. Server link. Oh yeah, no, you're good. I don't mind links. I f I figure most people are set, are putting okay links in. Uh, so yeah, so this right here you can actually see is actually or um Let me see in the original Japanese English translated mangas as well as the original Japanese anime series Power level of series protagonist Son Goku is actually read as over 8,000 The phrase is typically used as an innumerable quantifier to describe a large quantity of something blah blah, blah. I was like wait what? I didn't what <laughs> How? Um, and it's actually, let me see. And it was Funimation that made either the mistake or they made the, the, um, the decision to do that. Cause I think it was, oh no. So Funimation, when, yeah, when, when they redubbed it and we've been duped. Yeah. It's insane. Like 20 feet for me. Really? That's actually pretty cool that's pretty cool though yeah it's insane i'm like wait it's actually eight thousand what how that's not possible you're telling me my whole life has been a lie what why yep in flower mound texas gotcha that's pretty cool though i would love i know i was so the only time i was ever close to a actually two two big companies um like that were gamestop headquarters Back when I visited um, or went on a trip to um, if Yavi and I both applied to them, that's actually really neat. Um, when I went to Washington, D.C., because I think their headquarters is in. Let me see. I, I know it was close. OK, not the GameStop. Oh, no, 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 not GameStop. Never mind. There's a not was it it's not It actually may have been Bethesda 
now that I think about it. Because we were in... I'm trying to think of where we were. Even closer to me to Dallas, Texas. <laughs> nice. Um, moving offices. That's actually pretty crazy. I wonder where they're moving the, to. We were... Where? Baltimore, Washington. We were... I'm trying to find it. Seven corners. I feel like seven corners is kind of close to it. Or we're kind of close to where we were. And Andale. I don't remember. We were close. We were close to Bethesda's um, HQ. And then when I went to Vegas, I noticed that they're, they actually have Konami HQ. Or they have a Konami place in Vegas. Yeah, Konami Gaming Inc. Is literally, you can see it from the airport i was like you gotta be kidding me so that would be really cool it'd be really awesome i don't even know what exactly they have or what they do there <clears throat> it's every casino game or every casino machine game or system that konami starts or creates starts with more than an idea so that's actually basically where all that is which i wonder <clears throat> Casino games, multi-station games, systems. Yeah. But it's, it's like the legit Konami company. I'm like, that's so cool. That's really neat. Seeing it literally as we're flying in. Such a, it's such a cool thing. And it's something I didn't notice the first time we went either, which is weird. Oh. I love, I love seeing that though. Like seeing the big companies like that in places. I I think it just makes I don't know, in a way it makes everything like all the more real. Um like you kind of think of every company in, in my in my opinion as kind of like this ethereal being. And then when you see a building or or someplace that actually you know that people work there for that specific company, it makes it just like it kind of grounds it in some sort of reality, I guess, if that makes sense. That maybe that's just me. Um, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird like that. Not live that far from one of the last UK steel mills. Really, that's pretty neat though. I've always wondered like what steel mills are like. I don't know why. They've just always been kind of interesting, or at least the thought of them. Excuse me. <clears throat> <clears throat> Gosh. Making sure everything looks good. But yeah, so trying to think. Anyone else have any other wins though that they've had or or any goals that they're working towards? And if so, what are you doing to work towards that, I guess? Because that's always I think another part of the win is that, you know, what comes after that? Um what comes after the win that you've already achieved? <clears throat> and I kind of liken this. So there's a um, bit inside one. Everything is big and shiny. Oh, I believe it then. I believe it. It has to be, I'm sure. Um, That was weird. Um, I think that like, so well, I, I see a lot of people in the the one Facebook group that I'm in that is focused on like Twitch networking. A lot of people talk about, you know, pushing for partner or path to partner. And one thing I always think about is how like you shouldn't have anything like that be a end goal. Um, you shouldn't be going, okay, you know, I'm going to hit this or I'm going to do this. And then that's it. Like what, what happens after? Why are you going for that? Um, that's a big thing. I think you, you really should, you can have like an end, end, end goal, but have little goals that lead up to it. Um, I think that's a big thing that helps making a schedule for my nutrition certification class course. Like so I can finally finish it. That would, that'd be awesome. So when do you expect that you're going to be finishing it amp? I'm curious. Do you have, do you have like an expected or a desired end date or just, you know, Kind of, it'll you'll it'll be done when it's done. Cause I think that that would probably that would definitely help a lot. I'm sure. 
also, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do also get some. If anyone has not done this, uh, we're gonna go this. We're starting a bingo. Also, if you don't know what a bingo is, emote bingo. Uh, whoever gets the Twitch emote, because this is for all the Twitch global emotes. Whoever does the right one, um, you get 2,000 coin, 2,000 husky coins. I would love to be done by August, but I will be no matter what by October. That'd be awesome. I'm sure August would be really nice to have it done, but um, yeah, I mean, as long as you know you're going to get it done, that's the big thing. I think Eli is working on them. And remember, you can only do one emote at a time. You can't put like five emotes in one message. So all the Twitch emo Twitch global emotes are open. You better hurry and work and work to get them done. We need to talk about this. Why are every other game at E3 this year a shooter game? I actually have not seen anything about E3. I have not watched anything about E3, I guess. So I have heard some. I wonder, can I look at like, I know there's a few games I'm excited for. I am kind of excited for, um, I want to see, can I look at like just a thing talking about the, oh, there we go. Mark got it. Very nice. With the lesbian pride global emote. Very nice. Congrats on that. We have a miles in here. Hi, miles. <clears throat> very nice congratulations so of all the games that have been announced that i've heard anything about i've seen sea of thieves and how they're doing um a pirates of the caribbean collaboration which i think is gonna be really cool it's gonna be a nice refreshing thing for sea of thieves this, this time i decided to work from the bottom instead it's all good it happens it'll get better um battlefield 2042 i am looking forward to that I'm kind of leery after learning about the fact that there's going to be no campaign at all. It's just going to be all multiplayer. I'm like, I feel like games still need some kind of a, um, some kind of a campaign to ground them. Um, I, Hades, I actually haven't heard about. I haven't heard anything about what's, oh, Hades is coming to Xbox and Game Pass. New Forza game looks fire. It looks so pretty. I did see something about that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mark. Um, it does look cool. I think it's supposed to be taking place in Mexico, if I'm not mistaken. I think I saw someone talking about that on Twitter. Um, let me see. Xbox mini fridge. There's an Xbox mini fridge. What? I want, I want an Xbox mini fridge. I will take that. Okay. I'm, I would see about buying this. It looks like an Xbox One, but it's a mini fridge. That's pretty cool. Where, where, where can I buy it? How much is it going to be? Um, does it not say anything about, it, it doesn't have anything about how much it's going to be. I want it though, for no reason. Then to just have it. <laughs> Smash. <laughs> oh boy. Let's go. Every announcement. Let's see. I'm trying to think of some of the other ones that I've seen people talk about. There's Yakuza like a dragon on Game Pass. It's hammer time. The wall of hammers looks really good. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm trying to think of like what else. Um there's actually quite a bit that aren't shooters. Oh, they're doing a Diablo 2 Resurrected. That's actually gonna be really cool. Dragged, oh boy. All right, um, Far Cry 6 is coming out. I almost forgot about that. Shredders, that's the game that I saw people talking about and that's gonna be fun. A new snowboarding game. After like someone said after like forever, there's gonna be a new snowboarding game. That's really neat. Um, oh yes, the Among Us 15 player lobbies that they talked about. Let's see, Outer Worlds 2, Forza 5. That's pretty much, that's a lot of the things, really. Most I saw, okay. Let me do these. 
Mm, I really just need to put it on my. There we go. And you also get. Where is he? Get Miles too. Miles is cute face. Look, look at his, look at his face. Look at him. He's so adorable. Hi, buddy. New Age of Empires looks like fun. I like those. I do like the Age of Empire games. Um, I like those RTS uh, games a lot. Uh, I really want to see about getting the Civilization games, and also to go to get a throwback. Um, I played Age of Mythology way back in the day and i would love to get that again i think it's on steam i just need to see about actually buying it all right upper's best doggo he is he's a he's a good doggo. he's a good doggo. that's just soft whip oh the miles everyone loves you miles they could care less about me it doesn't want you. His ear, I know. <laughs> He's so adorable. All right, let me do these. Okay. <sighs> I just, uh, oh, I just did those ones. <sighs> All right. I know. You mean like something like, you mean you can do leg day, you can do arms. Something that's not me dragging myself. Oh, it hurts. No, uh, don't do that. I know, this is a challenge. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, well, I also. Because don't they have like. Doesn't Nintendo have just one more? Um. Probably one more DLC thing for Smash. I think they talked about. Um. And really, the only new Pokemon stuff they could talk about. Excuse me. Would be. Oh, of course. Um, the only new stuff they could talk about is really shine. Was it brilliant pearl and shining diamond or something? No, brilliant di diamond, shining pearl. <laughs> um, they could talk about that. They can talk about Pokemon Legends Arceus, and then they could talk. Thank you very much, Hitch. I appreciate that. And I mean, really, I don't think what else they could talk about in terms of Pokemon. I think that's just about it. They already did both of the DLCs for uh, Sword and Shield. If they have plans for next gen, next gen, um, I don't think they will. 
I could see. I think those are really the only things, honestly. I, I I really don't see them talking about too much more, honestly. I got, I gotta tell my uh, my my training group with the, about this. party stuff yeah i can see that plus i mean does nintendo also usually what they do is they tend to do a lot of their announcements during pokemon directs i think or nintendo directs right i think that tends to be the case oh, i can get rid of this now um i don't know if they have another one coming up here I don't think they've got another one coming up yet do they maybe that's all the way back where well I guess they do have one actually June 15th is when theirs is which is Tuesday so Tuesday they'll, they'll have one and they'll talk about it That'll be interesting, I think. Just have to keep an eye out, see what they're uh, what they're gonna end up doing. Oh my goodness! See what see what my training group has to say about uh about all the alligator drags that you've all that you've had me do. Hmm. Oh, also got a new card in the mail. Um, this I ordered a little while ago. Uh, that artist that does the shadow or the, um, basically, I kind of consider them shadow Pokemon, but they're basically the Heartless and Pokemon uh, crossover has done another one. Um, this, I, I, this is the third one that she's made. It's only the second one I've gotten, though, because... Uh, I missed the second that she did, which was a Charizard. I forgot completely about it, about the release um, on her page about it. Isn't that the cutest thing? Isn't that adorable? And the thing is, all of these are pre-orders. Absolutely. I love plugging her stuff. She is amazing um let me pull it up no it is a mew Oop. i know it's hard to see because it gets a little bit blurry but you can see it's uh it's pale right here so i'll i'm gonna grab the uh i'll grab the mewtwo one as well yep it is it's a heartless crossover with pokemon she's done a ton um i'll actually show you her and I will give you all the link as well. Oh, it's actually okay. So her, it, her, um, it's super adorable. So her, yeah, I can see that. So her store. So here's the store link. Um, she it's currently not up because she is working on catching up. Plus she is in school. Um, so she's has to kind of balance that. So here is the link for her store um, and you can put your email in so you get notified when it's back open. Usually she opens it up on the weekends, uh, but she does say that the shop will be back in early July with some sticker restocks and whatnot. Uh, and then if you want updates, the main one that she is on and she posts on is her Instagram, which is just under the same name, uh, Diamior. 
I don't know how you say it exactly. Uh, but that's it. D-I-A-M-I-O-U-R. And she has done some amazing stuff. I really need to get this Haunter. She also did this. This is a really cool piece that she did. She worked on um, Itachi Heartless. Yes, Chikorita. Um, they got Totodile, Cyndaquil. But yeah. She does amazing. This Mewtwo is... Oh, it's so sick. Um, Yes. Go follow her. She is amazing at what she does. And I found her on TikTok. So if you also are on TikTok, go follow her there. I know they really do, but Chikorita is a great starter, I think. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Happy Goo. So I, I absolutely suggest checking her art out. Um, here's Mimikyu. I'm I've been lazy getting more and more of her stuff. Also trying to like save money. But yeah. Um and like I said, she's on TikTok as well under the same name. So that's how I found her, and I fell in love with her art immediately. She's done all the evolutions. One of the first ones, and actually the reason I found her was because she did this Umbreon. I have this print and the sticker. I think it, I think I have both. And then she did an updated one, and the updated one is really nice. I personally like the original, but this is the updated, and it looks so good. They they all look so good. Um, honestly, I kind of want to ask if I can get a tattoo because she does allow people to get like tattoos of her art as long as they ask for permission. She's from yes, she is from Texas. Um, so but I'm I'm honestly ask, uh, thinking about asking if I can get this one done as a tattoo. Um, because I just I like the way it looks. I like this one a little bit more than I like the other one. But here's here's a Bulby Bulbasaur, Pikachu, Squirtle. Here's that Mew. Because, no, not Sylveon. Oh, the Sylveon. Let me see what the Sylveon is in here. This Sylveon looks kind of cool, though. I do like the Sylveon. So, yes. So, I absolutely suggest checking her, her stuff out. You know, put your e email in so you can notify when her store goes live again. Usually, she opens it up um, or she puts new stuff. I, I don't like Sylveon. I hate Sylveon now, trust me. But yeah, um, and like she's done, she does other really good work. Um, this is all like her other style. She kind of has this style as well as her shadowless Pokemon style. But like this is what like literally it was this that got her attention on it. It was awesome. Like I said, she's on TikTok. So if you if you watch TikTok, go watch. She like shows little like speed things of them being done. But yeah, absolutely suggest suggest check check her out, and I'll show you the um. This is you two. Thank you very much, Mark, for the lurk. I appreciate it. But yeah, this is the Mewtwo as well. And, the, and like I said, the one that I missed out on, cooking time, I'll be back. Absolutely. Enjoy your food. It's so sick. Yeah. And then the, the one they missed out on, like I said, was this Charizard one. And oh my goodness. I wanted this so bad. I wanted this so badly. But yeah. Check herself out. She did this. Um, Unfortunately, she actually said that she got a lot of hate on TikTok for this deep knee deep in kitty cat tiktok now nice that's always a good place to be though yeah she got a lot of hate for this but she's like really it just shows like how many people have that kind of feeling on tiktok i'm like that's garbage yeah see look at this she actually has um all the ones it basically just wants to be added and credited for it um and she like i like that some people even offer well actually you can't see it now um to include the little, her little symbol signature. Like, look at this. So people, let me see. And she wants to learn how to do tattoos. Okay, no. She, I thought she had pictures of people doing them. Oh, not the right one. There we go. 
but yeah so i always I, I told her i'm like i suggest your art to people all also need even attack and titan cosplay tiktok very nice that's another good place to be i think but yeah um i've also helped her with buying pokemon cards she's bought some cards off of me and i helped her with like saying hey because like i sold her two cards they totaled up to 25 dollars she's like i looked and they were like she's like why are you selling them so cheap like they're like several hundred dollars on on ebay i'm like don't go to ebay do not go to ebay especially for these cards you're gonna get way overcharged um like looking at the prices right now on on tcg player this is what they're worth you go by that go if you're looking for that go by that uh, if you're looking for cards like PSA, then you go by the eBay card, eBay prices, but not uh, not for raw cards that are um, that, you know, are fairly new as well. That's, I think, the big thing, too. So I helped her out with that because I was like, I'm not going to let someone get ripped off and I'm not going to rip someone else off. That's not right. I'm not for that at all. Uh, but yeah. Okay. You're all caught up on the chat. Yes. But yeah, so go check her, her, her stuff out. She does a really good job. Um, she's also just really awesome. She includes like little notes and everything. Um, so like this is one she sent me the last time. I was like, thank you for all your support, Alex. I hope you're doing well. And she also sent a little sticker of her icon, which is really neat. So, like I said, just absolutely suggest. She she's probably one of my favorite artists and one that I will always you know shout out, support, all that good stuff. Oh, there's others like I love finding artists, especially at cons and stuff. I love finding them and being able to be like, yeah, your stuff is awesome. I'm gonna support you. Hmm. Do need to do one thing my my light is starting to give me that green it, that greenish tinge on the on my left side mm, that's a bit better okay well i mean say we we are about halfway through the stream now yeah absolutely um if you if you want to do that i would suggest uh, best place to do it would probably be would be in the um, self promote other section. Um, that would be the best place. That that would be where I would put it uh, for others, or I would I su would basically suggest other people to do it. Um, because that that self promote other is for anything that is yours that's not um, Twitch, basically. Excuse me. Also, who posted food? Oh, Jazz, that food is so good. It looks amazing. I'm only just saying also that is that wine? Open link. Yeah, I want to see this. Okay, whatever that wine is, that looks good. I mean, it, 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 it's a live next to a winery. That's super nice. It's been a little while since I've had wine, but I, ha I did have some good ones from uh, and get free wine tasting. Oh, oh, I would love that and hate it at the same time because I would spend so much money on wine. Um, we found some good ones when Attack on Titan has a range of wines. Now, do they really? I'm upset. I think I may have talked about this on stream before. I was really close to buying, um, a case of wines oh absolutely i'd be 100 percent down for that that'd be so cool for sure um assassin's creed had a line of wines and i'm so upset i didn't buy them when i had the chance they were back in november of 2018 that it was that they were released they had an Ezio, or they, so they had aveline de grand prix uh, Arno Dorian, Altair Ibn Lahad, Bayek of Siwa, Connor, 
and Ezio Auditore wines. And I was going to buy a full case, which was 12. Um, and I was going to have one, one of each that I could open and one of each that I could just keep displayed. Because I would like to try each one. Um, unfortunately, the website... Um, oh, that's right. Lot 18 changed. What did they change to? Lot 18. Because they had a bunch of... um. They had a ton of like... I'm trying to think of like what they were. Skriller Wolf with the raid. Skriller Wolf, how are you doing? Welcome Raiders, welcome, welcome. How's it going? Misery, I see you. Welcome everyone and... Hey, Fat Crew Productions, raid. Raid hype, how are you doing? Okay, for some reason it's not playing, so I'm going to have to force it to play. One moment. Sanix900, thank you very much. How are you doing? It's going to show up any moment now. Any moment. It's Japanese. Oh, it's very... Oh. That sucks. It's Japanese only, though. I know that we have not had this in a while. Um, I don't know why it's not. I'm gonna have to check to see why it's not going off automatically. But yes, Squirrel, I did see. I did see that you were playing Kingdom Hearts. How was that? Um, I saw when I I checked in, you were on the jungle or um, the Tarzan level. I can't remember what it is. Deep jungle, I think. Uh, but welcome, Raiders. My name is Electric Husky. I'm a completionist. Uh, right now we're just having a very chill stream. We do like to work towards 100% and uh, all achievements on any game that we come across. We recently finished up Spyro Reignited Trilogy. It took us like two, three months, roughly. Um, it was a lot of fun. Really enjoyed it. A lot of nostalgia. We're going to be starting on the 25th. We're going to be starting Scarlet Nexus. So uh, it's going to be a lot of fun on that one, too. Spyro Pog, all the Spyro Pog. Um, absolutely. Thank you very much, Misery. Uh, everything is really good. Um, we're just, like I said, having a chill time right now, just hanging out. Um, we, it's normally our Sundays are our, uh, are our chill community nights. Uh, Wednesdays and Fridays are our achievement hunting nights. So, um, whatever you're in the mood for, we do try to have it here. Uh, almost finished the first game. Nice. How are you? Uh, uh so you've got to be. You gotta basically be pretty close to the end. Uh, how long did you play today? Um, nice, I can handle that. That's always good. Uh, yeah, we always try to have a nice, welcoming uh, community and nice time in here. Hi, Husky. What's going on, Justin? How are you doing? Did four hours of KH? Nice. I need to get into the series. I need to play it on stream. You ever play a Creed game on stream? I would. Uh, Professor Hitch, I love the Creed series, the Assassin's Creed series. Probably once I get to some of the more recent ones, I'll do them on stream. Because right now I am playing Rogue off stream. Uh, I haven't played much of it lately uh, because I've been trying to work on getting caught up with videos. If you're not part of it, I do ex I do encourage everyone. Um, I try to plug this and um, I've been trying to work more on my YouTube channel. Uh, recently, what's been going up is a is parts of a five part gameplay series from the Scarlet Nexus demo. Um, but trying to get more eyes on that. Um, so, you know, if you are interested in that, we also have some other stuff where I'm going to be putting up a showdown, a Pokemon showdown video, as well as a Phasmophobia video, since those are the last two things we've really recorded. Um, absolutely, I appreciate it. And Skrill, I love your videos. Your videos have been great. Um, I got to watch some of the newer ones, but I loved the, I, the Kingdom Hearts merch one was hilarious. That was amazing. I uh, started it as it's been stressful in life, so I'm going to do like I'm going to do a comfort food game. You know what? I don't blame you on that, though. Um, Kingdom Hearts is always a comfort game. All of the like nostalgia from the beginning is so great. I've been trying to keep myself spoiler free from the end of uh, three 
and like uh melody of memories i think is what it is i know melody of memories is really more like a retelling with a little bit of extra stuff but i've been trying to keep myself spoiler free from that uh because i do want to play on stream all of the games i think it'd be a lot of fun to do at some point it's gonna take a long time to get through all that but it'd be a lot of fun um can't wait for scarlet nexus i know june 25th that's when we're gonna start it we're gonna get through it melody of memory is pretty good except the kingdom hearts 3 music worlds they play weird gotcha i'll have to keep that in mind whenever i get to that and when i buy that um are you thinking of getting tales of rise i have not played many tales of games justin so i've been i've been kind of iffy i think i i would need to, like the only tales of game i've ever played has been symphonia and that was back on the gamecube and that was literally like middle school so i have no idea if i'm going to uh if i'm going to do that but i might see about getting it afterwards um once i see some maybe some gameplay from it some like not spoiler gameplay i might see about doing that it'd be fun though it would be fun to do that just not 100 percent sure on it exactly i'm gonna jump in i recommend vesperia that's the best one nice i'll keep that in mind um the only one I do have, and I only have it because I got it for free, is Tales of Zestiria. Um, Chief 2, you can get it for like less fit. Oh, that's nice. Less than 15. Cage okay, Simple and Clean is an awesome song. I love it. Yes. Really, all of the opening songs are awesome. I love all of them. Simple and Clean is just like feels nostalgia. If you are looking for something that's that's familiar and different. Uh, I have a few suggestions because I have actually a whole Zesty is one of the weaker games. Bazaria is better in every way. Gotcha. Um, I'm I'm definitely like I said, I'm absolutely interested. I I would probably try the one that you said that's like less than 15. You want me to scream, play Sanctuary. I'll sing so loud. I just love them. So actually, I'm gonna pull up. I have them on Spotify. Um, I actually have a whole playlist of Kingdom Hearts ones on Spotify, which is great. Um it's really just a bunch no yeah i'm not gonna actually play it i'll i'm just gonna show it because i know those would get taken down dmca like that i heard trigger yes yes uh to the game yeah i'm not gonna that i'm just have i'm just gonna show you like literally this is my kingdom hearts playlist when i just want to just focus on kingdom hearts um face my fears because that's such a great one dearly beloved by less gravity is really nice it's it it just is like nice overall i don't even have a, a good way to describe it um oh yes oh you know when i play kingdom hearts in my car especially put the top down yes uh sanctuary opening of course this i don't know why this is even like but it just is like um can i just go to the song no nope 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 don't don't play it that's not what i want either I just go to the song. I don't know, but for some reason this came up in a Kingdom Hearts playlist. I'm like, this is really nice. I like this. Um, Kingdom Hearts three rap. None like Joshua does some awesome stuff. Um, and this is like one of those. It, it hits hard. It does have spoilers from Kingdom Hearts three. So if you haven't played it, you're going to get spoiled by listening to it, but it's still great. I got a little bit spoiled, but stuff, not stuff I didn't already know. Uh, Don't Think Twice from, I think, the second game. I think it's like the second ending. Uh, that's really good. This song made me makes me cry. Lazy Afternoons. Um, It's the song from Kingdom Hearts 2 in Twilight Town. So Roxas's um portion of the game but it has uh this this artist liz robinette gave it lyrics and oh my gosh it hits hard and it hurts so good it makes i've cried to it several times i probably would still cry to it uh, and then of course simple and clean the other one that i really like um where is it dearly beloved so it's actually dearly beloved not simple and clean dearly beloved kingdom hearts remix by game chops is another great um version it has a few spoken portions to it too which are really nice though 
So if you're ever looking for some stuff to kind of change it up, but you still want Kingdom Hearts, definitely go for all those. I suggest them. This is just like becoming an all suggestion stream at this point. But I love it. Which actually, it's funny because then like talking about Kingdom Hearts, which I don't know, Skrilla, you I think you literally missed it. I was talking about this artist um, that I follow and I've, I've bought stuff from who does this stuff. Pokemon mixed with Heartless. Like she does, she does an amazing job um, and she sells prints and stickers. So they're awesome. I linked the the or I linked her store in the chat. Let me let me grab it again and post it cuz I love I will always post her stuff out. Also, I'm terrible at this. Um yes, those they're awesome. Anyone who is here for my stream um not already, please again, Skriller, I'm sorry I didn't do this earlier. I get off track with these things. Go follow Skriller Wolf. Awesome, awesome streamer playing Kingdom Hearts as we were talking about. Absolutely suggest um huge supporter of others um and just overall good person to go and watch and hang out with super chill streams um also builds gundams and lego sets as well and just plays a pretty big variety of games if i'm not mistaken right scroller i think i'm trying to think of like any other like any specific games that you might be playing but i can't think of any off the top of my head um but i definitely suggest scroller wolf um, play a bit of everything, yeah. So, definitely suggest Skrilla Wolf is awesome. Uh, again, it changes a lot. I was like, yeah, I know, like, I've stopped in and I think you've been playing, like, a different thing every time, which is awesome. I love that. I love, like, variety. Um, that's what I, I aim for. I don't like playing the same thing over and over. Um, you know, ju or just playing one thing. I do beat the games usually, yes. It's just, I think, like, every time I've checked in, I think you tend to be on something different. Uh, but yes, that link is to the artist's shop. Right now, she does have a close because she is currently restocking and dealing with uh, real-life stuff. But she, do also, she does also have Instagram and TikTok. So, um, her name is the same as her store name, so Diamior. Uh, so it's a Sonic G Fuel... Uh, shaker this is the mortal kombat ice shatter flavor which is really really good it's nice and cool um it's got like a slight mint not like a super minty but like slightly minty i don't know it, i don't know how to describe it it's just good i know i was talking about this earlier i have like 19 tubs of g fuel i think they should sponsor me at this point uh but yeah i've got that and i've got a code vein one I want to get the tall Resi Evil Mommy Cup. Oh, do they have that? That would be hilarious. Please tell me they actually have that. I, I gotta see. They do. Oh my gosh. That they do. Oh, they also have this. I saw this. Let, let's show everyone this tall mommy. Tall Resi Evil Mommy. All pre orders so I figured they would. This is sweet. Uh, Tetris Blast. That's so cool. I saw this. Yes. Tetris. Old school. OG. Let's see. Shop now. I guess we'll just do bundles, maybe? Or no, actually, I saw Shaker Cup. Suddenly, the Tetris theme is stuck in everyone's head. Yes. Always. Always stuck in everyone's head. Uh, Maiden's Blood. They do have that. That's actually kind of... This sounds like it'd be pretty good. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Let's see. Go. So it, it has to have been sold out on here. Clickbait. I wonder what that's like. That's got to be pretty good. New arrivals? Maybe we can see it in the new arrival stuff. Maybe, maybe not. Mm -hmm. No, go away. A tall shaker, a tall tub of G Fuel? Really? I didn't even think that was a thing. That's not that. Huh. 
wonder if they'd have it on their Twitter at all. Starter kits? Maybe? Nope. Let's try... Oh, thank you. Here we go. Oh, wait. Of course it has to be a tall. It has to be a tall one because tall vampire... Also, if everyone wants to check out my Twitter, it is Electric Husky at, uh, at Electric Husky 23. That's a very tall thing of Maiden's Blood. It has 60 servings. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense for that. Jeez. They're both tall. That is great. 50 bucks is not that bad either. Dimitri. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I can't say that or else I might get in trouble with Twitch, but yes. <laughs> I knew I knew it's griller. Nightmares, thank you very much for the 100 biddies. How are you doing? Haven't played the game. I have not either. Nightmares, how are you? How has your weekend been going so far? Um I haven't either. That's actually um if you if you look, it looks so good. It does look really good. I'm not a, I'm not a horror game person. That is why we do have down below uh, the sub goal. It is there for everyone to help reach. If we get 30 subs at one point, <clears throat> then I will literally buy the game and I will play it after whatever game we're currently working on. Um, so obviously it's not something that we necessarily need to do, but I figured it's, it's something. Had to move along in the back and sweep the garage, but right now just chilling. Good to hear but thank you very much. I appreciate that. Subscribe now. Watch your face, Lady D. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, was always my personal favorite, but RE8 really makes it work that spot now. That's always good. I I was like very afraid of um seven. Um but yes, it, it looks really good from what I've seen. Excuse me. Um hopefully, hopefully you're doing really well, Nightmarish. Thank you again. I appreciate that. Appreciate those. I don't need to don't need to show everyone that. Uh Forget that I'm showing that. Um, seven is scary. Seven just looks freaky. I was watching. Who was I watching play it? Oh, I was watching um another streamer, uh, Virtute, play it. And oh my gosh, it, it's nope. Mm -mm. All right, if you if it's what gets you in the series, my standard seven isn't great. That's understandable. I can see that. Very scary game is Alien Isolation. I don't. I'm not a scary game person. Hence why we have this hence why we have this because i'm not a scary game person but if we get that many subs at one point i will play a scary game the last time last scary game i played was dead space and i got terrified about halfway through it to a point i was like nope i'm done ready re8 less scary is truly terrifying the rest isn't as scary compared to re7 interesting interesting still gonna terrify me i i can tell you right now the JRPGs are scary, scary long. Yeah, I I could see that. I mean, it's honestly something like that. I got this idea. Um, I was talking about this before. I got this idea from another streamer, Smallant, who he does like sub goals to play specific games or do specific challenges. Um, I I suggest him to check out. He's a bigger streamer. He does like speed runs. He does challenge runs of Mario odyssey of super mario odyssey minecraft he's i think lately he's been doing minecraft speed runs up until he does he beats his uh pb um breath of the wild as well he does speed runs of that so it's really cool um but that one spot I, i'm scared to know what that one spot is like hey, february's jrpg at least check out a bit of the game but i don't think i'll have time anymore to finish any games that genre that's pretty bad but understandable they are very long games I dread having to do any games for here on Twitch because those are going to take forever. Um, I don't think Scarlet Nexus isn't considered. I know there's so many that are like that. I think the only one I might have. Uh, I don't know if technically this is considered one Final Fantasy 15. 15 i'm assuming that it probably would be a jrpg tech oh maybe maybe not but yeah that's like the only game i think in that done persona 
3 two years ago, Persona 4 this year, next will be Persona 5. Nice. Gotta go. Nice chatting, Husky. Absolutely, Squirrel Thank you very much for the raid. Thank you very much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Again, everyone, if you aren't already, you need to go check out Squirrel Um Awesome, awesome person, awesome human being. Uh, another canine uh, inspired channel, which I love it. Um, but definitely go check check her out. Um, great person. Sub to tube as well. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, thank you for the support. It means a whole lot. I, I really do. I'm trying to get that going. So, um, but definitely have a good night and uh, we'll talk to you hopefully soon. I'll definitely try to stop in more of your streams as well. But yeah, there's definitely uh, definitely things to work on. Definitely games. I've got a huge backlog. It's sad that I bought a new game to add to it, but oh well, I don't care. Scarlet Nexus looks amazing and I cannot go without playing it on stream especially money aside for a, a playstation some point so can, that's one of those like persona is one that i've been interested in but i'm just like eh, do i really want to get into that like that seems like a lot it looks good don't get me wrong i just feel like that would be a lot for me to get into um especially with all, all of the games i already have i feel like at this point i need to wait for for wait until i get through some more of my games before i can really buy more plus i'm trying to get through all the games for my xbox so i can get rid of my xbox at some point a bit of i'm pretty interested i have too like i've seen i've heard really good things about it i love the franchise so far but i've never finished them i feel that um it's really that's me with like most with most things i think i don't even know the last time i played an a, a full jrpg it's been all while it's been a really long time. Touch Cosmos Gaming in years, so it's gonna be weird. That's true. Well, it's that's like me, like me, for, but the opposite way. Again, not like, um, like getting into PC gaming more and playing a game like Scarlet Nexus on PC is gonna be different. Oh, is that really true? Let's see. Let me just check on uh, Steam. I'm actually curious now that you say that. And that's understandable, Eli. It's also like it's a lot of money to have to buy a game or buy a whole console. That's why I like when everyone has been talking about, oh, getting an Xbox or getting a PlayStation or an Xbox Series X or PlayStation 5. Like, I don't have one. I'm not really going for one or the other because I don't want to get a PlayStation 5 for like a few games that are going to be exclusives. I would rather miss out on them um, or play them through someone else um, than buy a whole new system for that. Like, I think it's, I think now is a good time. Yes, that's a really good, because everyone's getting rid of their PlayStation 4s to get a PlayStation 5. Um, or a lot of people are, I should say. So it would be a good way, a good time to do it. Yeah, they do actually have Persona. They have Persona 4 Golden, Persona 5 Strikers. Let me see. Um, that's actually it on Steam, at least. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else. They have Blaze Blue. Oh, that could be interesting. And I don't know exactly what Persona 4 Golden and Persona 5 Strikers is exactly. The main Persona 4 game, gotcha. The whole different thing. Okay, understandable. Yeah, like I said, this is me not, not having any idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> I just look stuff up. Um. Yeah, it's definitely like, I've got also got a ton of stuff on my, my wish list eventually. Um, But yeah, it's like, like I said, with the whole buying a new console, like... The only game that I had ever seen that, at least when people were first talking about the PlayStation 5, when all the games were being shown, what the exclusive were, the only game that I saw as an exclusive for PlayStation that I really wanted was going to be Spider-Man Miles Morales. And I was like, oh, it's going to suck because it's going to be on PlayStation 5. That's the only thing I want. But then I'm like, oh, it's going to be on PlayStation 4. Let me play it on there. I don't care if it's, you know graphic if the the uh frame rate is worse whatnot i don't care i want to play the game and we'll play it on there and same thing with the xbox series x like i'm not gonna buy a whole new console when i also want to get rid of this one and not and move away from console gaming to pc gaming 
Uh, console wise, Persona One, Two, PlayStation One. Okay, that's good that Persona Five goes to three and four. Main game with some minor changes from the original. Okay, that makes sense. I was gonna say because like also being released in 2020, when Persona Five was also released in well, wasn't that released like 2019 or something? I could be wrong on that. I probably am. Excuse me, 18 or 19. It was at 2016. You gotta be kidding. No. What? It came out in 2016. I didn't think it was. That's just odd. That's insane. We're just finding all sorts of stuff out about games. Like we found out about Yakuza games um, the other day. Found about how there's like, what, 12 or 15 Yakuza games in total. Even though like most of them aren't part of the main series. Yeah, that was interesting. Yakuza Zero. Th I, I, again, I don't remember. I think I remember playing one of the Yakuza games back years and years and years ago. I actually want to take a look. Main series, when, which one did? Only eight, of, that's right, eight of them. But one of those eight is a spinoff. Yeah, it's Yakuza Like a Dragon is the spinoff, right? I think we talked about that. Shocked. I know, I am too. I didn't think it was that long. That's right. Yep. I remember. Um, but I wanted to see. Oh, it really could have been any of the Yakuza games. Or actually, it would have been one of the first two that I played. I don't remember which one it was. Because I remember playing one on the PlayStation 2. I don't remember. It's hard to tell by the cover because the cover is literally the exact same thing. But one is zoomed in and black and white instead of color. Persona 4 is a great anime. I have not actually seen the anime of that. Main series is Yakuza 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Yeah. Which is, so that's seven games. So I wonder why do they do like a dragon anyway? But see, it's funny because here it does say it's the eighth main release in the Yakuza series. That's just so weird. Um... But yet it doesn't follow the main guy. Got the soundtrack with my copy of four. That's right. It is a different game mechanic. I remember reading about that and like seeing some videos talking about it. Got the soundtrack with my copy of four. That's a, that's really cool. I would love to watch it. I think it'd be really a really nice one to watch. Um. Yeah, that's. I would love to, there's just so many games I really want to play at some point. Honestly, you'd love it, Husky. I feel like I would. Um, I'm, I'm a big, like any kind of anime, I'm always open to trying. Um, yeah, there, there's very few that I turn down without giving them a shot. The OST in them, Persona games, just absolutely amazing. I bet it is. It hits the heartstrings big time. Oh, then I'm definitely, <clears throat> I'm going to hate it and love it at the same time. Because trust me, we we watched some. We watched some that like some anime movies that hit the heartstrings really hard. You know, Weathering with You, Your Name, the Name Two, the the main two that we watched uh, here in the Discord actually. And yeah, it's those hit hard. I've cried. I cried to both times I saw or all the times I've seen Weathering with You. Um, and uh and nearly cried to your name uh it's pretty good the p4 battle theme was a little weird to me at first but then it rapidly grew on me that's always good i mean i like when when things like that like when they grow on you like that try to get into persona just although it's good it didn't finish playing i want to try to get back into it though that's a, i mean it seems like a really good one to try um 
I would be down to try it. I probably wouldn't like I would like to do it on stream, but I know how long it would take me to get through it. That's the problem. Plus, the achievement hunter slash completionist in me would be like, let's play, let's get everything we can get. When they cry as a tearjerker. Oh, Higurashi when they cry. I remember reading like I think the first the first chapter of that in a Shonen Jump. Which, by the way, does anyone else remember Shonen Jump? Shonen Jump was amazing. I never subscribed to it. I just bought it like every month um, at the grocery store. That the, at the old grocery store I went to, it uh, I bought every every issue I could. Oh my gosh, that was a great. That was great. I loved Shonen Jump. Got a couple issues. I had. I think I still have a bunch of mine. I just don't know where they are. Shonen Jump, all right. My friend Ray always brought some. Yes, that was where I first read like Naruto, Death Note, um, uh, Hikaru no Go, I think is what it was. The, the, um, yes, Hikaru no Go, all about the game of Go. Uh, Shaman King, I read a little bit of that. I'm trying to think, what, let me see all the anime I've got, all the, all the manga I've got here. Um, actually, not a whole lot from, oh, Rave Master, I remember reading in that. One Piece, I remember reading in that. Hoop Days, I don't remember Hoop Days. Bleach, yep. I didn't read a whole lot of Bleach, because uh, at that time I was, wasn't into it. One Piece, I did read some of. Um, I need to still finish collecting all of Naruto and One Piece. Shaman King, I need to collect. I need to collect Bleach. Need to... Actually, Desert Punk, I don't ever remember reading. I remember seeing like one episode of with one of my friends. It looked really cool though at that point. Hoop days. Let me see hoop days. Oh, it's also it's called it's Dear Boys. Also, it's also called Dear Boys, I should say. Is it basically just a basketball? Oh, Shaman King. Oh, that's right. Shaman King got a reboot. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, ho, ho. I gotta watch that because Shaman King was my was like my middle school m show that I watched. It was the era of the second wave of mainstream anime with Tsunami, Four Kids, and Shonen Jump. Yes, there's so many things I need to watch. Um, I'm trying to like see because it says like. All it just says is it's called Dear Boys. It doesn't say Hoop Days at all, but somehow Hoop Days brought us here. Hey, Rue, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. That's really weird. <clears throat> We're just talking about kind of just having a random, like, just chatting, which I love. I love this. But, yeah. Um... I definitely need to watch the new Shaman King. How many is it up to at the moment? Because I remember watching a ton. And I remember also watching uh, or playing the games. I had a few of the games too. And the games were a lot of fun. Let's see. Is there, so there's a new second series. I have heard of Kuroko's, or, uh, Kuroko's basketball. I have not watched it, but I have heard of it. Uh, it's going to be on Netflix when it comes out in the West soon. Maybe the next two months. Oh, yes. Uh, I have not watched The Mightiest Disciple um, or Mightiest Disciple Kenichi. I've had people suggest it, but I does not have a chance to watch it. It looks and sounds really interesting. Um, It's all good, Rue. It's all good. No worries. Trust me. I understand. I understand. You know, trust me. We've all got things to do, so it happens. Only game any game, game bought as a kid was One Piece Grand Battle. I I remember one I think there was one One Piece game I ended up playing. I didn't buy a whole lot. I rented a bunch from like uh from Family Video. Um I rented that. I rented like the Yu-Gi-Oh games. Um especially War of the Roses, I remember. Yu-Gi-Oh on the PlayStation 1. I cannot remember what it's called. Um let me see. I have like some of the strategy guides here too. Um, Nightmare Troubadour. I had that. 
and then I had several Shaman King games. I rented a Bleach game, rented Monster Hunter, or, or Monster Rancher, Monster Rancher. Um, Monster Rancher had such a fun mechanic to it, where it was on PlayStation 2. Yes, Forbidden Memories. Uh, Netflix has a dub of Kuroko's. Nice, Martha. I'll just, I'll just see about watching that. Um, and yeah, Mighty Disciple Kenichi. It seems like one of those would be really funny. Um, yes, it was Forbidden Memories. I love that game. And now I only have the case. I don't know where the game actually went. But Monster Rancher had a really fun mechanic. I literally rented it. And then what you could do is while the game was running, you could open the disk drive, take the game out, and put a DVD or a CD in. And then it, what it would do is it would read it and it would take the info on it and it would grab it would like give you a monster uh from that. I remember the first day I rented it, I found out you could do that, and I literally sat there with and we had like a whole big shelf of DVDs. I would literally grab like 10 DVDs, bring them down, and I would put them in one by one and just get all of these monsters. And I would put them back, get, grab more, and keep doing that. I spent the entire day doing that. It was so much fun. It was such a unique thing to do, too. Hey, Freedom, what's going on? How are you doing? Shattered No One has released a Blu-ray copy of Space Adventure Cobra here. What? It, I've never heard of Space Adventure Cobra. They have not... They haven't actually... Oh, so it's like an older one. Doing good? Good to hear. How's your weekend been going so far? Let's see. Oh, it's a, yeah, it's a 1982 um, anime film. That's really cool. It looks awesome. I will say that. Only anime I'm waiting for is Evangelion 3.0 plus 1.0 once upon a thrice. It's the final film of the franchise. It was released in Japan around March. It hasn't been subbed or dubbed yet, so I'm just waiting. Nice. Hopefully it gets subbed or dubbed soon. Um, one or the other. I don't know... And this is one of those things like I don't know who if, who or anyone here who has um uh any preference on like sub or dub. I'm very much like I will watch both. I prefer dub, but I will watch sub if need be or if it just happens. Um we also have no hate for anyone who who focuses on one or the other. Uh good good so far. I'm glad to hear it. It's always good to have a good weekend, trust me. Um, do you, do you, yes, classic anime, anime list. I'm always down for a classic anime list, especially like just anything that I can watch. Uh, waiting for the dub of Eden Zero. Oh, that, that's the one that's um from the creator of Fairy Tale, right? I think. Uh, I prefer sub, and that's understandable. Like, I there's definitely some. Um, yeah, there's there's definitely some where I do prefer one or the other. Um, like I saw. Demon Slayer in sub first. I've heard some of the voices do or get dubbed. I've heard um Tanjiro, I've heard Inosuke, I've heard Zenitsu. Um I've heard I've seen like the first or I think Shelby, I think we saw the first or second episode of Demon Slayer dubbed. Um and I think for me personally, I lean more towards the sub on that. Like some that are dubbed that I really prefer are like black butler black butler is like is definitely a better one dubbed because you actually get the english accents it may not be the best english accents but you get the english accents in that uh, and i think that's really important because it's taking place in england makes sense for that um kira buckland did demon slayer did she i don't know which one she, which uh role she did attack, attack and titan to prefer sub for sure cowboy bebop i definitely prefer dub uh, my hero academia i can go for either personally but i lean a little more on sub i i think and then again a lot of it for me comes to how, how i first um interacted with them for me demon slayer would definitely be something that i would prefer dub because i've seen the first episode i've seen the I'm trying to think I'm trying to remember what I saw the first movie as. I don't remember off the top of my head. The second movie I saw um, dubbed, I think. I don't remember. Um, Yeah, so it's like, it's really like for me, a lot of it, become, it comes from 
which one do I do I interact with first? Uh, but again, I don't prefer I don't have a preference for one. Like I watched um anyone knows what the Gray Man is. The Gray Man is a great series. I love it. It focuses on exorcists and demons and this one guy who's try who the villain who's trying to make everyone into demons by offering them deals. He's basically like Faust's uh devil. He he offers them deals like for their loved ones and in order to bring them back to life but in order to do that their soul has to incorporate their body so it's, it's really cool it's awesome and then the main character can like exercise these demons it's really cool i love it if you get a chance watch it uh, but like that i watched the whole first half of the series in dub and then the second half i could not get my hands on and they never did dub it because of the fact that they did not get enough sales on the first half so I remember actually being in a Todd Habercorn panel and he said people kept asking him, when are they going to do a dub of season of the next season of of, um, of D. Gray Man? And he said, because people are not buying the first season, they aren't seeing the attention that it gets. So they're not making a second dub. If you want this, you need to you need to either buy or you need to convince others to buy the first season so they see that it's worth it. Uh, let me see. If you watch Kogias, just watch it in sub. I watch double was not that great. Okay, I have to keep that in mind, Rue, for sure. Uh, Eli, welcome back. Had to go chase down my dog who took off down the road after a little cat. Oh, no. Hopefully, he's okay. I'm sure that it sounds like he is. There are definitely some shows that just work in English. Um, I have not seen Italia, but there are. And, and I think that a lot of people use old examples of why dub is bad. Um, Degramman is so good. It really is. I loved it. Um, I think dub is getting better with voice actors. Yes, they're absolutely taking it more seriously. Um, let's see the anime dub industry in the late 80s and majority of the 90s. No. And, and again, like people, I think a lot of people use those old examples as this is why dub sucks. That's not the case anymore, though. Like a lot of people are like dub doesn't have the same um, the the same emotion. I've seen this argument a lot on TikTok, and I'm like, you're this is a garbage example. They're like the dub doesn't have the same emotion as the subs do. Are you watching the same thing that I'm watching? Sometimes, yeah, the emotions are kind of weird, but they still show the same emotion. You have again going back to like my hero if you watch the dub you have the emotion of literally all might using i apologize this has been known for a while so if you are if you are um if you have not seen this and this is a spoiler for my hero academia i'm sorry but it's literally been like i think two years now or something but literally all might using the last vestiges of all of uh, of one for all to defeat all for one and you hear the emotion in him using his final United States of Smash and saying goodbye to One For All. That was a hugely emotional scene. You have literally the emotion from Deku saving Eri in some of the more recent seasons. You have the emotion, even like, I don't like Dragon Ball Z, but you have the emotion of literally like, um, the one, the one that I keep seeing come up that people use is like, is literally where Goku is screaming out, I will not let you destroy my world. The emotion he has, you feel it in your heart. Come on, like how can you say there is no emotion or the, the voice actors in English don't have the same emotion? It's insane to think that. Uh, Nick Dathy, my night has been great. We were having a great time uh, hanging out and talking. Um... She's fine. She got a good chewing out for now. She's sulking in her bed. That's hey, that's if she just gets a good chewing out, that's all it is. Oh, I'm definitely copying these misery. Um, also impressed with the voice actor in Bakugo. My hero when he's blaming himself to All Might showing his raw emotion. Exactly. Like, it's just people I think have such garbage arguments at this point for some of them. Yeah, you know, some of them may not seem right. Some of them may not be the best. I will 100% agree with that. But then you also like a lot of people and I, and I know this happens and I hate this. People will use the argument of Pokemon going have a jelly donut. I'm sorry, as kids, if you were to if, if you were to show me as a kid what an onigiri is and you were to say it's an onigiri, I would have no understanding of what that is. 
That was literally meant for kids to watch. They made it jelly donut to make sure that people that kids understood, hey, this is a this is a food, this is a treat. They're not gonna call they could have called it a rice ball, yes. But the fact that it's like so many people use that as an example of bad dub. No, it's not bad dub. It's bad for the time. Yes, they could have done something better, but they made it so kids who were like, I don't know, eight to like 12 years old could understand it effectively. It, it's like we don't we didn't have the mental and the the cultural understanding to know a rice ball is supposed to taste is supposed to taste good like that. Or what the filling inside a rice ball would be. They also had, don't have a whole lot of time to to kind of give the description of what that is. It's not like anime now where if it's something new, they give like an on-screen description of, hey, this is what this is. You know, here's like a cultural reference for it. No, they don't have the time. They didn't have the time to do that in old anime. Um, anime in Los Angeles in 2019 and a lot of voice actors. I think I saw, I've seen clips of that panel too, Marth. I missed you. Judge Raven Tengu Kabuto. Let me let me copy those two. Sorry, I get a little heated with stuff like that. It is. It's regionalization. That's really what it is. Um, you look at about epic dub performance. Go watch Tottenham Zero if you know. You know. I will definitely keep that in mind. Yeah, it's regionalization. It's basically just like, like again, it's it's making it so more understandable because some people like if you put something in English, excuse me, then you're just not gonna know what things are without some kind of explanation especially again those ones that are made specifically for children uh about the dub of the anime when they dubbed it words like senpai and kun chan uh were actually said in the english dub then a little translation with that they kind of broke that is true but again that also kind of goes to the fact that fully coolie was not made for kids it was done on toonami it was done on um It was it was done uh like it was done for a more mature audience who could understand hey these are words that mean specific things it's not like again kind of going back to pokemon pokemon is is meant for kids and to try to explain what a rice ball or an onigiri is to a kid who has never seen it and would never understand what it is that it has something like savory inside it's just easier to say hey it's a jelly donut and people use that as like a bad example of this is bad dubbing um i mean here where stuff is different even from america yeah and that's exactly like you're gonna have that in every region it doesn't mean that a dub is bad or that the dub industry is bad overall because it wasn't for kids yeah it that is really cool to be one of the first to do that it's also i love that the anime I was really confused because I remember like watching it and um and it was always on Toonami and watching it and going like all right I've seen this episode like five times I still have no idea what's going on I finally watched like five or six years ago I finally saw the whole series in order on Netflix I still didn't understand a single thing because it was still confusing to me um yeah, fully cool or uh funny thing this is one of my first animes that's actually really cool one of my guitars into oh yes nightmarish yes i would love to see the fully coolie guitar yes yavi please also wanted to see I, I meant to check one thing i think it may have gone by i don't know i just realized maybe night oh actually it's not even on this one i think is it here Will I be able to see who it is? Oh, also, I I didn't realize this. I think it's because I don't know if I have the bit boss on here. Uh, Nightmares, you did become the new bit boss, by the way. I meant to like, I should have done that. But I, again, I don't think this um, scene has my bit boss thing on it. Does it? Yep, you became... Yeah, it doesn't have it on here, so it never even popped up. That's my bad on that. But yes, you became the new bit boss. Uh, Because you beat out the last one. And now you can gamble. Yes. Now you have coins you can gamble away. Gamble all of them. Well, don't gamble if you don't want to, but... 
Oh, and Husky for a giggle fest. Watch Dead Leaves. Is it dolls only? So no streaming. It's a giggle fest. I believe it. I'll definitely put that one down too. Dead Leaves. I recognize... Okay, so also Misery from your list. I recognize Perfect Blue... And I recognize Blackjack. I think I think I recognize Blackjack. Let me see. Is Blackjack? Probably should put anime. Yes, I remember Blackjack. Yep, he's a doctor. Um, one of my friends actually cosplayed as as Blackjack, like years and years ago. Let me see if I can find the picture. I may have a picture of him. As Blackjack. At like one of my very first cons too. It's been a long time since I've since I've started going to cons. Uh let me see. Not 2008. What about 2009? I could have sworn I had a picture of him. Maybe not. And there's always baby husky cosplaying as L. I really need to redo that wig or get a new wig, I should say, for L. That's uh. No, darker or darker than black is a different one. I know that much. I think I've seen darker than black. Yes. Oh no, I've seen parts of it. That's another one that's on my list. <clears throat> I guess I don't have a picture of. My friend, he did a really good job. I remember that. That's definitely one of those that's a little bit more obscure, I think. Yeah, I don't have... I thought I did, but I don't. One of my friends did do Freakazoid way back when. If anyone remembers Freakazoid. My goodness, that was that was a long time ago. Uh, there we go. 2000. Let me think. Maybe he did 2012. Now I'm curious. I want to find Blackjack is a doctor with the hands of God. Yep. Like I said, I remember. I remember reading a little bit, but I could never find a full manga to read online, which was terrible. I was so upset. I was a surgeon. Okay. Uh. Mm. No, I don't. He's he. I don't think I ever got a picture of him. I thought I did, but yeah, because L was one of the first cosplays because L or um series was never dubbed. Gotcha. Yeah, I just remember I tried to find the um the manga to like read because I would have loved that, but never could i was i was upset about that i was like man i would love to just get a chance to read it i think I, I think it was all like a bunch of shorts too i actually have seen stuff about serial Ex experiment lane that's been another one that i wanted to watch too um let me watch it again because my brain I have its time about the commentary of the internet how people can use it dang came out in 1998 was the crime freeman back in the day i'm i'm writing all these down um also, if anyone wants a really good one, um, check out um, Elfin Lied or Elfin Lied. I don't remember exactly how it's said. Definitely a good, um, a good series. The manga is a little bit different than the anime. Yes, Elfin Lied hits the feels hard. That one, I, mm, and you might know this, the, the, um, the worst one of the worst scenes it's a flashback scene already watched elf and light not probably not again it's good it's good to watch it's like a one-time watch pronounced lead okay i was gonna say i was like i i think i saw it that it was said lead somewhere yes um one scene that hurt me the most i was like nope i'm done with this now i don't want to watch this no more <laughs> No, it's like a one and done anime, but it's one that hits you just by watching it once. Um, it's absolutely, it's worth it's worth the one time watch. 
can get past episode one. Really? That's pretty bad. Episode one was, but it wasn't anywhere near as bad as like other episodes. Like I said, the manga is different. In it, so there is a point they had an issue. They had one of the, the classic issues of anime, is that the manga, um, the manga or the anime caught up with the manga, and instead of instead of waiting for the manga to go and instead of making filler, they just ended it. Um, so the, where the anime ends is not the very end. It's, it actually continues for just a little bit farther. Like maybe I think a dozen chapters and the ending of it, the true ending is so much weirder than the ending of the, of the anime. I think I've seen a little bit of Sengoku Basara or Basara. I don't, again, I'm terrible with pronouncing things. Uh, Sengoku. But it's definitely one that is I'll, will go on my list. Blast Rider. That's definitely another one, too. Yeah. It, it ended... It definitely made more sense ending in the manga, but it was just very weird. It was, like, just odd. There's no other way to put it. It was just odd. Manga for that one. I also finished reading Dead Man Wonderland. Yep. Some changes i think a lot of them it's like that's why a lot of people hate on series like naruto one piece um bleach like all a lot of the longer running ones that have a lot of filler the thing that they don't tend to understand is they literally have to either when the anime catches up with the manga they either have to stop the anime and let the manga get way ahead but then that means people potentially lose interest in the anime they have to create filler because uh, because they need to let the anime get farther ahead which again then people hate the anime for it and then um or they have to end it and then it's like well now the, it's different and it's like come on you you can't you can't be satisfied no matter what so i'm just like you know what they got to do it like however they want they decide to exactly they keep going weekly i do like this the seasonal anime that we have now it's really nice um demon one has so much potential i felt i believe that i, I i'm sure it did Sailor moon is like that yeah absolutely uh, absolutely misery what's going what's up always well always okay to be honest here trust me see i like this i like talking about anime I really do on almost 900 anime movies and series. That's insane. I love it. I love it. That's true. That is true. But even then, even then, Full Metal Alchemist and Brotherhood had different parts of the series. I like I actually say I have I completely believe this, that if you want the full Full Metal Alchemist um, experience, you either need to just watch the the or read the manga or if you're gonna watch the anime you need to watch the um yes if, if misery if you can if you're in the discord we i would love to see that because that's a huge collection um that's insane but yeah you need to watch full metal alchemist and then full metal alchemist brotherhood because there are things in the first series that actually explain things that aren't talked about in the second in in brotherhood like one of the big things that I love they talked about in in the original series was how um Mustang's uh alchemy worked. And they don't talk about it in they just say, "Oh, it's his gloves." Well, no. There's more to it than that. Um just some of the things that they really go into detail with. Like yeah, the the first anime didn't do a really good job of um of explaining of, of where it it diverges from the manga but again you kind of, they had to create their own ending to it 1995 jeez wait 46 what i'm confused with that but yeah it's hey z how are you doing welcome nice to meet you oh you're 46 gotcha like well I know the original now gets a little more hate since the time. Yes. I, and it's funny because actually we watched Brotherhood and then we watched 
uh the original and um and it's definitely been like i i really enjoyed both of them for different reasons um but welcome z how are you doing welcome how'd you find the stream love to uh hear from you some more i'm a self-confessed ag that's okay we're all addicts to some degree of something trust me uh and we accept that here especially if it's manga and anime <laughs> we're all manga and anime lovers here uh most part at least but yeah like i i enjoyed some of the like the deeper explanations to the first series i i liked brotherhood for going closer to the manga at the end but there are definitely things that you can jump around a little bit um i i think there's like a proper way to watch both of them to get the full complete story i just have to figure you'd have to figure it out because some of the pacing is different that's the thing um like in the first anime it was like years i think or it, it was like the first few episodes were over years and it's like okay that's awesome whereas like in the second you had him going quickly of getting it getting the um going to the alchemist exam and then like going to meet tucker and then you know continuing from there it's like that was just so quick what the heck how like how is it so different which one's the right one too um hard to find crying freeman now husky but it's definitely got the heart moments i believe it i will definitely try and see if i can find a way to watch it um yeah it's like like i said i think there's too many people that criticize anime in general for being anime they criticize the dub versus sub argument and they belittle each other it's like my thing is let everyone enjoy how they want you know if, if someone is a diehard dub person let them be a diehard dub person you can suggest hey maybe you could watch this subbed um they or if you're a diehard sub person you know what let them be a diehard sub person you can uh, suggest hey you should try this anime dub because this is they actually do some really good voice acting in this that's okay that's perfectly fine but don't go hey i hate you i hate what you do because you watch dub or i hate what you do and i hate that you watch sub you may do that keep that per keep that internal there's no need like every anime fan should just be happy that we are together and we have something that brings us all together also watch both the fma movies i think not canon of the anime but they're both good movies on yes i think that that's true too i think uh i do need to watch both of the, or those movies too um uh, yes i get yeah i guess they just skimmed through the beginning maybe i think so too um I think I think with that for me, um, I think that's right. I think the Shambhala movie is 2003, and I think the other one is the new is the Brotherhood one. And I think you're right. I think that basically what they did was they went. It kind of was, in my opinion, like what they did with Spider-Man: um, Homecoming. It's kind of like how they skipped over the uh, the whole Uncle Ben and and Spider-Man becoming Spider-Man because guess what? We've seen that enough times already. So they probably did the same thing with Brotherhood, where it's like, you know what? People already know the the general origin of all this. Let's speed through it and let's get to the good stuff. Like people have already seen this. It was it was over a much longer period. Let's just skim through and, and get the basic points and then we'll get to the, all the good stuff. Um, What's going on, Baron? Welcome back to to having uh, Warzone again. We definitely got to play some on Warzone Wednesday. Yeah, and I think because there's two different movies. Um, so, OK, since we're talking about FMA right now. Best fight or favorite fight in any Full Metal Alchemist um, lunch right now after spending the weekend away. I don't blame you. You need to you need to like kill a ton of people in it. Please get get like two dubs. Um, but what is everyone's favorite fight from anything from um, from Full Metal Alchemist? I think for me, it's Sacred Star of Milos is the other one. And that is part of the... Um, it's... I mean, I'm trying to like see where it would fit in. I don't know exactly where it would fit in. But it does. it is part of the Brotherhood, basically series it's got that same animation 
I think I just wish they can they continue. Oh, I know. I know. I that's a, a big that, that upsets. I know it upsets a lot of people. Um, that's really sad. Like I know that's what a lot of people are really worried about. Honestly, with um, Hunter Hunter's author, since Hunter Hunter's author hasn't done anything with the series for a long time. Um, it's been a really long hiatus, and a lot of people are worried that he may pass away before he has a chance. That person, Edward. That person, Edward. Big Brother Ed. <laughs> Shelby, do you want to respond to that? <laughs> oh, Rue, thank you. <laughs> I actually torture Shelby with that all the time because I'll be like, Big Brother Edward. Um, oh, there's a guy who goes to the con that's closest where I live, and he has a dog stuffed animal with a wig on, and he dresses like Shao Tucker, and everyone hates him, but he does such a good job. And one of my friends cosplays as Hughes, and it's so heartbreaking because he actually has like a, a full out wallet that has pictures of of um I can't think of her name all of a sudden. And he's he goes on, he's like, you know, are you coming to my daughter's birthday? Like he goes off. He loves it. Um, but yes, nightmarish. I'm I'm hoping that the same thing doesn't happen. It's really sad. Like, and you know that that is really a lot from the stress of being a mangaka. That's I think the worst thing. I'm necessarily evil. Now goes in the corner. <laughs> oh my goodness oh baron oh i don't i i can't even be upset with you that was great that was perfectly done gone with that one i couldn't get an fma oh that's okay it's okay if you don't understand that that's okay it's just one of the most hated parts and one because of one of the most hated like i think that specific character is more hated than the actual big evil of the series. He's probably one of the most hated anime characters in all of anime. He's probably one of the lowest ranked characters. Because I think there's... um, It wasn't my anime list. It was... Anime... Anime Planet. That's what I used to record all the anime that I watched. And they have a character. They have top loved and top hated characters. I almost bet he's probably still in the top like that. Yep. Look at this. This is great. He's still number one ranked top hated character of all time. With 18,329 hates. Next one is Sakura, which is which also makes sense. Oh, that's so great. Oh, that's so great. Oh my goodness. Sakura number two. Gotta love it. Okay, wait. Who does everyone think the number one most loved character is? Who do we think that could be? I'm curious as all the hates. Sasuke is the third most hated. Okay. Oh, Misa. Yes, Misa is also on here. Danzo from Naruto. Near from from uh, Death Note, I can see that. Nina Einstein from Code Geass, Nobuyuki Sugo from Sword Art Online, Light Yagami would make sense, I guess. Kabuto Yakushi, Mel there's a lot of um, a Death Note characters. There's one, two, three, four, four just in the top fifteen. Nina's creepy, I believe it. Uh, we've also got Melo, Orochimaru from Naruto. This one makes sense. This one makes sense. Excalibur being one of the most hated? Absolutely. Agreed with that. Uh, Mako, uh, Makoto Ito from School Days. Kirito from, from Sword Art Online. Sorry to anyone who's watching who likes Kirito. Sorry, real life Kirito. <clears throat> she's a perv and freaking, freaking weird and creepy and she's racist. That's just lovely. That's absolutely lovely for a character. Um, <clears throat> okay, who do we think is the most loved of all time? Anyone have any guesses before we switch over? Or even just the, the anime that they're from? Anyone? I'm curious. 
Pikachu. I could see that. I could see Pikachu being uh, being a uh, uh, most loved. Any other suggestions? I wonder what the top for or top hated for today is. Gabby from Attack on Titan. Mineta from My Hero. Shao Tucker is still the most hated for the day. Uh, Tata Kisaki from Tokyo Revengers. Misa Amane, Danzo, Malti S. Melromark from Rising of the Shield Hero. Akaza from Demon Slayer Movie. Mahito from Jujutsu Kaisen. Ni Rachel. Oh, Rachel is down here from Tower of God. Near Mahito. Katsuki Bakugo. Of course. <clears throat> uh, Naoka Ueno from A Silent Voice. Akito from Fruits Basket, as in most loved. I can see that. Endeavor is one of the most hated. And Dino Francis Golzine from Banana Fish. All right. Let's go back to all time. <clears throat> so we've got Pikachu, MHA character, and Akito. Are the three guests, three main guesses at the moment. Gabby, I, I could see Gabby being hated. All right. I think most people... Oh, you think... Oh, do you think... Wait, Nezuko. Nezuko, I could see being loved. Absolutely. Did I... I said Mahito. I didn't say Akito. But we'll see. Let's see. All time. Not Nezuko. I think Nezuko could be a top loved. We're talking about who's going to be most loved. Let's see. It is... <laughs> yes! It is L from Death Note is number one most loved. I want to say Rough Talia by Feel Rising of... No, it's... I mean, um... Going back to the top hated, when you look at it... Um... Where was Rising of the... I know there was one that was from Rising of the Shield Hero. Oh, no. That was from the... This today. Gojo from... Oh, yeah. I could see... For... For... Rank that high on... Did I? I thought... Oh, yeah. Multi... S. Mill Remark is number seven most hated from Rising of the Shield Hero. But yeah, all time loved. I think Gojo from G I can see that. Kakashi Hatake. Um, makes sense as well. Everyone loves Kakashi. I love that L is number one. L is number one, always. Edward Elric. Number three. Okay. Light is also one of the most loved, which is an interesting one. Uh, Le Levy or Levi? Levy? I don't know. How is it said? Is it said Levy or Levi like the jeans? I think it's Levy. Check today. I will check today. Levy? Levi? So Levi like the jeans. Okay. Um, number six is Naruto. I'm actually surprised at Naruto being one of the most loved of, of all time, to be honest. I think mainly because of his, tr his character arc over the entire series. I can imagine him being one of the most hated, personally. Number seven is uh, Mikasa Ackerman. I could see that, I guess. Again, not really knowing any uh, any Attack on Titan, it's kind of hard for me to judge them. Ryuk from Death Note is number eight most loved. Ryuk does make the series great. Her <laughs> yes. No love for Black Lagoon. We'll definitely we'll have to see. Only three anime on the top. I will check today. Let, let's get through all fifteen for this for all time. Wait. So wait. We've got we've got Death Note, uh, Naruto, <clears throat> uh, Fuma Alchemist, Death Note, Attack on Titan, Naruto, Attack on Titan, Death Note, Ita Itachi Uchiha, Naruto. Uh, I say don't forget though, Fuma Alchemist too. Um, <clears throat> Lelouch from Code Geass. So there's another one. What's the next one? Natsu. I can see that. Natsu's great. Natsu is pretty great. Lelouch is best boy. Black Lagoon has the best dub hands down. Good to know. We've got Gara from Naruto, of course. Everyone loves Gara though. Gara's awesome. Kirito. So Kirito is one of the most hated and one of the most loved as well, just like Light. Light is closer to the top on both of them, though. 
which is kind of funny too. <clears throat> Roy Mustang as one of the most loved as well. So there's another Full Metal Alchemist. And the last one is Urza from Fairy Tale. So you have Fairy Tale, Full Metal Alchemist, Sword Art Online, Naruto, and Death Note. And then Code Geass. So there's seven. So it's literally like an average of basically two, two and a half. Yeah. So, go figure Urza's up there. Yeah. Not to be curious, I'm happy. I haven't seen... No, One Piece... Well, let's also look at the top for the day. See, it's all new anime. No fair... I mean, not really. Actually, when you think of... Well, all new in terms of, like, general newness. Yeah. I am, I'll check today. Let's see. So, for today, we've got Ken Ryu, uh, Ryuguji from Tokyo Revengers. Inosuke Hashibara from Demon Slayer. Yes. Ganpajiro or, or um I can't remember what what his I'm going to find your weak point and bring you down. I can't even think of what he what his thing is. What his like the the main thing he calls him. I uh, can't cuz need to watch the classic that's Ganpajiro Kamaboko. That's it, that's what it is. Uh, Manjiro Sano from Tokyo Revengers. Levi. Number four. Tanjiro Kamado. Which makes sense as well. Tanjiro is best boy in in Demon Slayer. It's like you have Inosuke who is the tough comic relief basically. Then you have Ta Tanjiro who is just best boy. <clears throat> yep, there's Goju. L. Still, still getting love even today. Nezuko. <clears throat> my boy at number five there we go kakashi still there tokyo boy is flying high today um uh, izuku midoriya yay there we go gotta get deku in there uh shoto todoroki here's here's the my hero characters now katsuki bakugo uh nobara kugisaki from Juj jujutsu kaisen Naruto Uzumaki. And last one. Uh, Rengoku. I'm not even I can't I'm not even bothered with his first name. <laughs> Rengoku. I wonder what the week is. I'm sure it's probably not gonna be very different from today. Oh wow, it actually is fairly different. Gojo, Levi, L, Kakashi, Nezuko, Mikasa. Wait, who are you? To, who are you uh, hoping was in there, Eli? Uh, Mikasa, Naruto, Tanjiro, Inosuke. Oh, Yuji Tadori. Wow, so he's top ten for the week, but he's not even top fifteen for um for the day. Izuku Midoriya, Megumi Fushiguro <clears throat> from Jujutsu Kaisen, Andrew Osano from Tokyo Revengers, Itachi and Ken. Well, actually, because the great thing is, we can always look. I want to see. She's ranked number 378 loved and 7,600, or I mean, sorry, sorry, 6,755 for hated. An older anime list, too. They do. That actually would be really cool. Um, Yuji's such a wholesome boy. I mean,. But to be honest, again, when you also look at how many people, 74 people hate her and 4,000 people love her. She used to get so much love. I believe it. She seems like she'd be best girl. She just has that wholesomeness. Yes. Once, you, once the new Rising of the Shield hero comes out, she'll probably shoot up. Um. Yeah. Because even like if you go to the... um. Uh, I've hated like how many I just want to see something how many pages okay when you consider that the bottom rank is <laughs> 204,481 she's doing really good <laughs> she is doing really good and that's because there's zero so Yeah. 
Oh my goodness. I, just, I love this. I love seeing stuff like this. I wonder what... No, they don't have like a... Um, exactly. Anime past mid-2000s are very current. Exactly. Yeah, it's mostly... I mean, and it really is what's more popular, essentially. And it also is what's bringing new people in because new people are where every day and every week they're getting more and more votes. That's true. I mean, people love random side characters. They really do. I'm curious, like, we go this week for the most hated. Exactly. Minoru Mineta, Sakura, Danzo, Shao Tucker, Gabby, Layagami, Tetakisaki, Sasuke, Kabuto, Misa, Nier, Kirito, Akito. Hey, there's Akito. On the num he's number 13 most hated for the week. Malty, and there's uh, creepy clown. Creepy clown has thankfully he is the one of the most hated. <laughs> Send shivers, but he's still higher and most loved. That's just <laughs> gone. God, I hate him. I like Hisoka. I he's a cool character, but still just the whole gone. Oh, it's so freaky. It's so freaky. Literally the fact that like one of the scenes of the anime and manga. One of my, my faves in, uh, on the other side character. I get that. I have seen him without a shirt. I've seen him in the manga without a shirt. Trust me. Honestly, I feel like this is also goals for a lot of people. Not, not being a creepy clown, but, but having the figure that he has. The like cinched waist and stuff like that. That's like, that's my styles, and that would be really cool. That would also be a lot of work, I think, uh, for them to do that. But you could go each individual one and just rank them yourself. He's entertaining to watch. He, he's, he's, yes, he's a power file. He's just, he's just, there's a reason I call him creepy clown, because he's a creepy clown. Like, look at, look at that, look at the face. Although seeing him without any of the makeup is also still pretty is still pretty cool. I wonder. Uh, I thought they would have like more pictures of him. I'm not even gonna try and look up pictures of Hisoka because I'm afraid of what could pop up. So that's that's gonna be a no. But it'd be fun to do like some anime tier list or something. I know like that's a popular thing for people to do. I'll send you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I was saying, Rue, you just have them on demand, don't you? Is that what you're telling us? Hmm, Rue? Hmm. You, try, you trying to tell us you, you got some uh, pictures of him on demand? <laughs> no, I've seen, I have seen some. <laughs> That's all I, I believe it. Uh, I have seen some really good, um, some really good Hisoka cosplays. I will say that. Uh, Hitch, I would say it would be fun. Um, I would say we would do that one more at the beginning or like when we have more time. We're almost going to be ending the stream soon because we're getting close to the three hour mark. <laughs> um, but for sure, I would love to do that for a community night, honestly. Um, I have to get some ideas. Like anime tier list um i've never done a tier list of anything before so i'd have to get pictures and stuff there were fights i believe it a oh, shame i have pictures of levi i'm a fun hey you know what i don't judge there's no judgment here i'm just saying it's definitely expected for people i don't want to food tier lists cause so much division oh i believe it i believe that one um yeah it'd be fun like i've seen like i've seen Ludwig do one of them. I've seen, I've just seen a bunch of people. I saw one, um, one guy did one and he actually did him in like a panel. Um, he had two other streamers and excuse me. He did, um, African-American, uh, character or, or, or uh, yeah, African-American characters in, um, anime and manga. It was really cool and he had uh two other creators like i said that they kind of helped and and did a tier list of that it was really cool to watch um i don't know I, we could do something we could do like i don't know I have to figure that out 
have to figure that out. That'd be really cool to do, though, sometime. I think it would be fun. Oh, it started. Wait, what? What started? I'm confused. Oh. Oh, yes, with his hair down. Who's going to spam? Hey, that's okay. You can do the tier list maker. You can do a knockout tournament as well. Knockout tournament. Oh, that'd be really cool. Do try and do a stream using. Oh, I have thought about and actually Shelby has like helped me come up with ideas for some streams and stuff. Uh, I knew I knew that was going to come up. I knew one of those pictures was going to come up, Rue. I knew it. And that's his body. I know. Trust me. I know. Oh, my goodness. That's that's great. Uh, um, no, that would be really cool to do, though. Try like I, I would love to try like UK sweets. Japanese uh, sweets, just in general, like international sweets. Um, it's safe. I mean, again, I no judgment, and it, it is safe technically. It is very safe. It, if it's in an anime and it's not like hidden behind a rating, it's safe. Aussie, yep. I would love to try some of that stuff. Um, Korean spicy noodle. That's a whole different thing. Okay, I still have. I still have this. There is always the not safe for work. There, that is true. I still have this. <clears throat> so before we ever do a Korean spicy noodle challenge, this has to be had. Um, and the thing is, this is my plan for if we ever beat this sub goal and we beat another one that I have, this is going to be for 100 because this needs that much attention to do it. This, yeah, still have this because we never did hit my like 50... I don't have a P.O. box, actually, Misery. Um, Yeah, good goal. Yeah, I had it for a 50 sub goal back on my birthday last year. We ha I had two subs then. Um, <clears throat> So I'm like, if we hit if we hit this goal, and then there's another one that I have for, I think, like 60 subs that I have an idea for. If we ever hit 100, this is going to be happening. I'll do it then. So Korean Spicy Noodle happens after this happens. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't have a P.O. Box. P.O. Box costs money to maintain. Uh, and at the moment, I'm not bringing in enough money to do that. Um, and don't have enough people sending me stuff. But I would definitely get in touch with you. Um, we could figure something out. These noodles are delicious, but yeah, they're too t I believe it. I believe it. I'm not a spicy person. It's like, just like I'm not a horror person, I'm not a spicy person. I will eat spicy food, but there has to be a reason for it. <clears throat> goodness um yeah there's gotta be a reason so i have goals there's goals for that stuff for that kind of stuff um oh that felt good absolutely i appreciate that misery i will definitely let you know uh because that would be awesome and i would definitely be willing to pay for that 100 percent, 100 percent on that one if i'm gonna suffer it's got to be worth it, and I need to get something from it. Again, if I'm gonna suffer, if I'm gonna suffer through playing this, because of course I don't like horror games at all, jump scares are big no goes. I'm gonna benefit from it. <laughs> right there with you on the spicy food. Only I refuse to eat anything. That's true. I'll still eat stuff, but it's uh, again, I mm -mm, not about it. Not about it. And once I hit 100 followers, that's a good idea, misery. That's a great idea, honestly. Um, I love doing doing like goal stuff like that. Um, I haven't done any like anything to, for hitting followers, but yeah, I definitely would do it for like hitting subs, honestly. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Did I do anything for hitting a certain amount? I don't think I did. I don't believe I did. Did I? I know I have 400. Did I do anything for that? I'm looking to a tracker because Twitch Tracker has all that information. I know I hit. I'm just new to streaming. And you know what? That's not bad, though. Honestly, um, you definitely get more used to it as time goes on. So you'll get there. And it's all about, for me, one of the biggest things I, I let everyone know is. Um, One of the biggest things I always tell everyone is all about getting your content where people will be able to see it. Um, yeah, it was like I hit it 
like a week and a half away from um from the end of the year because i remember an amp might be here to confirm this um december 19th wow Eli, you find this stuff faster than I can find it. Jeez. How did, how did you find that? On your, oh, it is. Wow, I'm stupid. Forget about that type of stuff. Um, Yeah, because Amp, again, can confirm this for me. She said she would buy me <clears throat> and send me a bottle of uh, salty caramel whiskey or salted caramel crown royal whiskey if i hit 500 before the new year that didn't happen but it's really tart is it see rude i feel like that would actually be pretty good but i don't know i haven't really tried anything dragon food dragon fruit um <clears throat> but yeah misery definitely like my biggest suggestion if you are looking for more people and you're looking to draw people in um work like basically work to put content out there that will draw people to your channel that's my biggest my biggest suggestion to anyone honestly um it helps because when you're streaming on twitch you're only discoverable for that time when you put something on like youtube you're discoverable from the moment it goes up to the moment you take it down if you never take it down then it's always discoverable always possible i mean again i literally have a video that i posted i talk i i Again, I don't show anything for bragging rights. I show it as like behind the scenes and specifically for like um, push-ups and curls. Thank you, Rue. Something different. Let me do these and I'll, <clears throat> I'll keep talking. That's okay. We're getting to the end anyway, so. And crunches. Oh no, Rue. That hurts. I thought we were friends. <clears throat> All right. Oh, we were friends, Rue. Don't step on my Pokemon cards. And Squall. Justin. Yes, everyone do it. Oh, no. Why? I'm gonna change. Uh, I, I got actually. Thank you, thank you, misery. I will hydrate as soon as I finish up all this. Uh, my twenty pound dumbbells. Yeah, Mark, Mark and Eli got me. One, two, four, five. And then we had, that's right, we have the um, crunches. I still putting blame on you for, for actually helping with that, Eli. All right, crunches are not going to be fun. I will definitely look. Uh, Baron, give me one ab crunch. Wait, am I doing two things with crunches? Going for, it's 4 a.m. for you, Hitch. What are you doing? Wait, are you just saying do two different things with crunches? They will rightfully accept. Exactly. Okay. I'll just do my I'll just do ten. I'll do ten right now. Alright, you can see. Yep, you can see. Oh god. Oh, this hurt. Fingertip push-ups. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I'm I'm about ready to re to raise it for the next few stream or next streams. Uh, we have squats. Actually, go ahead and thank you. I appreciate that, Eli. <laughs> All right. One, two, three, four, five. Fingertip push-ups. I've never done fingertip push-ups. 
<laughs> I'm guessing it's basically just holding my hands out like this. I'm assuming, because I can't do like this. Assuming it's just this, right, Am? Okay. It's gonna be hard. Oh yeah, every every one of the exercises is uh for five, um, of whatever they choose. It's fun to do it all at the end. Ugh. Oh, do it, nightmares. Do it. I want to do it. I actually really want to get my car wrapped with some kind of vinyl decal. Um. Because I love that stuff. I love seeing that type of stuff. It looks awesome, in my opinion. If she'll be on stream, we should... Yes! Whenever she is, I encourage you. I say definitely... Um, yeah, send me ones on Etsy. Like, I want to do, like, a whole like whole side. Which I know I would, I would take to, like, someone to do. But I also know it's going to cost me a lot of money for my car. <laughs> Uh, and I want it to cost a lot of money because, excuse me, um, I would much rather someone take the time to not mess my baby up. That car is my baby. <laughs> Over here I could airbrush it. That would be awesome. I would love that. Oh, wait. Why does it come up with like nurse decal first? That's weird. But I do see. <clears throat> oh, they do have some real. Oh, those are awesome. Yes, 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 yes. I'm keeping those. I also really need. If any, if you ever find or if anyone ever finds any anime or Kingdom Hearts specifically license plates. Oh yeah, no, I love my car too. Trust me, I will do whatever I need to. Like I already have a decal on the back, right by the license plate. Uh, and it's the three. It's Ghastly Haunter and Gengar. Uh, it's really cool. I love that. Try Japan. Oh yeah, I definitely will. But yeah, um, because I've looked, I've looked everywhere, and I can't seem to find license plate license plate frames that are like Kingdom Hearts, and it's really weird. Toga license plate, no. <laughs> Simple stuff, fair enough. Otherwise, yeah, it's I like to keep things. I like to keep things like that simple. But again, I do want to get my car wrapped so that the the hood and the two sides are like completely done. Uh, I have a 2017 Chevy Camaro. So. That's my baby. Kyrie license plate. That would be cool. But my I mean, my car is named Sora, so. It would work, but I also... Oh, that is sick. Oh, Nightmarish, I love it. The Husky Mobile. That got my wife's attention. Oh, it's very nice. It's in the Discord. I can... um. I'm saving this because that is awesome. If I was a misery, I don't know if you are in the Discord. If you are, it's there's actually a picture of it in there, but I can actually pull it up too. Pictures, where are they? Where are my pictures at? Still not the coolest car that's in the Discord, though. The coolest, I think, would be, would be Baron's. At least just one side of my car. Yeah. Here, let me pull... I'll pull up the picture. Oh. Where? Oh, where? Yeah, because Baron's got a Tesla, so... He beat me out. It's funny, because I've actually had my car all over a year now. Really weird. It's been over a year. Oh, uh, where is it? I'm sorry, because I didn't, I like, put, posted pictures when, actually, I know a better way to find it. It's just on my Instagram. Which, if you aren't following my Instagram, you need to follow my Instagram. That's where I've been, I've been, I'm slowly getting better at posting some stuff there. Ah, here it is. I bet I did lots of graph over there. Gotcha. I say we're not, I mean, I'm not that far. 
I'm actually in Michigan. So all legal and paid. That's that's really neat. Tesla suck. I like Teslas. I think they look nice. This is my car. Not the best picture. I actually have other ones, I think, in the Discord. But yes. That is my baby. That that is that's and it's a convertible. So I love that too. Teslas can be pretty hit or miss. Baron's Tesla is nice. I do like Baron's. Let me see. I think I have other pictures I posted in the Discord. Oop. Okay, nope. I don't like scroll up as much as I can. My wife loves it. Nice. I'm glad. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, because I did take the picture back in like back in May last year, so it's understandable that it's Well, hello, Misery's wife. Hello. Oh no, it's the same exact pictures. Never mind. But yeah, so that's 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 my baby. That's Sora. 2017. I had a guy come up. I was I was literally coming back to my car from getting food. And he's like, he comes, he's coming out of another place. He's like, man, he's like, that's a nice car. He's like, uh, 20 or 21. I'm like, actually, uh, 17. He's like, no. I'm like, yeah, it's 17. It doesn't look like it though. It's gorgeous. I love, I love the color. Um, it was between this one and a red one, but I like the blue a little bit more. Um, plus it's a SS or RS. I think it's an RS. I have to look again to make sure. But yeah, it's super nice. I love it so much. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, I was, I was talking about this earlier. So I was going on with this. Uh, first of all, here's my YouTube. So if you aren't checking it out, you should. Posting some good stuff on there. Color on a Lancer would look sick. I bet it would. I want a Lancer. Ooh, that. Oh, look at that right there. That's basically the color. That would. That looks really nice. That is, that does look really nice. Um, but yes, yeah, so like one of the big things, again, you have a video on YouTube, it is always discoverable. This video of mine, I posted back in September. So it's been, it's still less than a year. I always, this is the video I look at. Like I will say, I have not gotten any attention. I'm not allowed to drive, how come? How come you're not allowed to drive? But I literally like I haven't gotten any any. There's been no feedback from this video to my streams. That's because it was before I was really pushing my streams and my videos. Um, I've been doing better now with like call to actions and stuff. Oh, epilepsy. Gotcha. That's understandable. I'm well, I'm sorry to hear that you can't drive because of that. Um, but I guess it's also again understandable and there's a reason for it. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. But, oh, oh, yes. License plate frames. Yes. Oh, no. These are actually the same ones I've come across, too. These are exactly the same ones I've come across. I'm like, come on. No, like it's all UK. Oh, no, that's that's technically Scotland. I'm a complete car, literally. I'm, I love older cars. Nice. I do like older cars, too. These I've always had these like I every time I look up Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, she did try. I appreciate the thought. That means a lot to me. But yeah, so anytime I'm talking, I let anyone know, like, again, posting videos on YouTube or posting them on TikTok or something like that. That's how you get more people to streams generally. Uh, also like networking and possibly from like raids and stuff. But um, I always say that raids are always temporary. Um, I mean, you may have some people come from raids and stuff, which I have had that. Uh, but I definitely suggest, you know, if you're really trying to get people to come in to your stream. Um, this one's kind of cool. Ooh, I got all oh, plus ultra. I already see plus ultra. Oh, go beyond plus ultra. Yes, I like that. That is so cool. I would love to do that. I just really want, I want, like, if my hero would probably be the next one I go to if I don't, if I can't ever find a Kingdom Hearts one. 
but absolutely like again this video i, I have not gotten a lot of people from i have gotten some subs which is really good um but i definitely suggest like posting videos on youtube whether it's long videos showing some kind of content or if it's short videos i will always i was giving you senpai i try i do my best i do my best to help everyone i want i want to teach people with the limited knowledge that i have i'm not going to ever tell you that i am the end all be all i have all the knowledge about growing <clears throat> but i try to teach what i've learned and then i'm also working to put into practice but like this is a video that again it's been up since september 15th mind you it's taken 271 days almost 272 days to get to how many views it's at now it's still an amazing amount of views i'm going to say i've never thought a video of mine would ever have this many views um and i appreciate that i'm always if there's any ever any questions and this is with anyone if you have any questions of anything i could help out with in some way feel free to message me whether it's here whether it's on tiktok or, or twitter instagram um discord whatever i'm willing to help like that's what i want to do that's that's part of the reason for this channel it's yes it's achievement hunting and doing 100 completions and eventually doing challenge runs and stuff but i also want to help people grow their own channel and and um and improve their content as much as possible i'm always open to to giving people help uh, i have not found any at all like every time i look up kingdom hearts license plates i get those same ones of like the uk ones i'm like why that's not kingdom hearts that's kingdom but yeah and so like this video again i have not seen any people come from come to twitch from it i've only gotten six subscribers out of 1.6 thousand views but that's also still helpful um if you look at some of my shorts which again i am telling everyone if you are looking to put to get content on youtube if you don't have any full uh full videos yet if you have no ideas for full videos if you have ideas for tiktok though post them on youtube as well get youtube shorts out there because literally you can have videos do what mine did and these i still find amazing um where where's like i had i mean you can see some of the oh, no you can't well here actually do this move these move this over here for the moment <clears throat> And I appreciate that misery. I will definitely let you know if I need anything like that. Um, you can see those. Some of these are like, like some of these are barely are like single digit views, but some of them are also hundreds of views, which is amazing to me. And then you have, where's my one? Where's the one video? Was it that one? It may have been that one. Yeah. This video is insane still. And this is literally what will happen with your shorts and with TikTok as well. It literally had no views. It had it had 21 views in the first day. Second day, it all of a sudden went from 21 to, and again, you can't really see it, 654 views. Literally the very next in the very next day, it jumped up to 5,321 views. And it's actually still getting a decent amount of views. Mind you, I'm not getting paid for this because I don't have the required like thousand hours of watch time. But the fact that I had a video hit this many people and bring in 15 new subscribers to my channel was amazing to me. Um like that's the thing that people don't think about like i i think about it as like a feedback and i and if you're streaming on youtube it's also even greater feedback i think because what you do is you have say you make youtube shorts from any from a if a stream on twitch or stream on youtube make shorts from it well those shorts lead to more subscribers those subscribers then when they watch your full videos they will be able to give you the watch time you need and then they'll get more then you may get more subscribers from that because then it'll get pushed out to more people what was that gnome sound effect like on facebook i appreciate it thank you so much working and getting better on there i'm not posting as much as as i should be on there but i'm getting better and then if you again if you stream on facebook or on i'm sorry on youtube 
there's an even better chance because then you're going to have those subscribers come and check out your videos. Doot doot. Uh, YouTube. So YouTube is just um, Electric Husky here. I will actually do this. There is the YouTube. And Twitter is right there. Um, again, I'm getting better with posting on Twitter just throughout the day kind of thing. Um, just bad overall. But absolutely, I appreciate the support. That It really means a lot. And for everyone, everyone hanging out here with me means a ton. Um, but yeah, and so it's like, I, I am advocating. I love it. And you've been... And you've been... And then it just ends. What? I've been what? But yeah, um... Like I said, I, I just I, I am advocating so hard because they're trying to get they're trying to make YouTube shorts work for people scammed. Oh, uh, thank you. I appreciate that misery. I it really do. That means a lot. But yeah, and I, I definitely just suggest like, you know, make videos, make make videos for YouTube and for TikTok. You can post those same videos on um on Twitter. You can post them on Instagram um, Instagram I, I find to be best as regular content for your feed and then post your twitch stuff like when you're going live in your story um, and then um, if it's legitimate or not oh let me see I'll definitely take a look um, hmm Hmm, I don't know about that. I, I guess I'm curious as to, is it just supposed to look like that? Kind of weird. And I don't know. I appreciate you finding that for me, though. Uh, I think I'm starting a series on TikTok about motorsport championship that I watch. It does not have a lot of videos on it. There you go. That's actually really great um nothing really for the frames yeah of course yeah if i don't find one that's okay i'll find something else i don't i don't think this is supposed to be a frame that's the problem but yeah like like i said that's just my like my i guess two cents on what people should be trying to do and again a lot of what i'm i put out there <clears throat> is is advice i i've seen from other people um uh from other streamers and again, I just want to do what I can to help uh, help others with it. Like, that's my biggest thing is help others to grow. Because um, I've seen growth and I want others to find that same growth. Um, you search eBay, there are people that can make... Ooh, see, that's actually what I would look for probably is like custom plates. Cause that, or uh, plate frames, I should say. Because uh, they would probably be able to do one. I just have to figure out exactly what I would want to do at that point. Yeah, I um, again, that that's kind of like my my whole go to, and and one of the reasons I found for having this channel, it's gone from just entertaining people, to entertaining people, and being a place to teach people as well, um, and help people reach their goals they're trying to hit. Custom one, yeah, <clears throat> that is not that's not bad. That one isn't bad, um, Eli. My only criticism with it is it looks like it's like squished. Like everything looks a little bit more rectangular, if that makes sense. Which again, it's rectangle, but hope that makes sense. Um. So yeah. So like I said, anytime anyone needs any help with anything, I'm all for, you know, if it if for anything, any type a type of advice. Yeah. No. And Eli, I appreciate that. Thank you for looking. Um. That means a lot. Just just taking a look makes sense like makes it that much better but yeah so i just want to do what i can to help others with however i need however i possibly can even if i'm not gonna be i may not be the um there is that i don't necessarily think turn it off but i think that you my biggest i guess the um so not that you shouldn't be streaming, but you should be using that to make and you should always be streaming to make content. Um everyone else is doing it. Yeah, absolutely. No, I appreciate that. Um, I think that 
what you should be doing is thinking about okay what kind of what type of content can i make and again bring people so you have that audience so you're not streaming to to i think really it's more of if you're streaming to zero people you shouldn't be streaming necessarily you should be creating content for something else um some other way uh again create content for tiktok create content for youtube um ff oh was, and see that's actually something that one that's a little bit harder um if you now with that what i think that you should be doing and, and again this is let me let me take a look at something i'm curious uh twitch <clears throat> So here, you're going to go and finally go to sleep. Absolutely, Hitch. Thank you very much uh, for, for being here and hanging out. I appreciate it. Uh, it was fun talking. Have a good night and get some rest for sure. We're probably, I mean, we're going to be ending soonish, kind of. Um, let me see. Okay. So as a new streamer, eh, Final Fantasy VII Remake is not a bad one to do. Um... I think, let me see. So, well, actually, well, let's see. So, so a good way to look at something is if you're, if you're going based just off the game, look at where you would place in that game. Uh, and, and, and this is not to say don't only play games for this reason. What you should be doing is playing games. Um, oh, and that's actually, that's perfect then. So, so what I would be doing is, okay what game and again this is not to say don't play a game that you either don't like so you land better or don't play a game that you don't want to play at the moment uh to land in a better spot what it, it really is is if you're going base if you're gonna try to pull people in based on the game you're playing look at where you land so to to use final fantasy 7 remake as an example with <clears throat> how many people is your actually i wonder if i can it may not well actually i apologize to anyone who doesn't want me looking at their numbers um okay so you have three average viewers that's actually really good and you actually have had like a decent so looking at your 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 numbers with final fantasy 7 has been pretty good um like yeah you have some low points but that's expected um and even like looking at the past 30 days let's see now you had a good spike with medieval <clears throat> and again i like using this as teachable moments um one thing and this is just my thing and this is something i've learned myself that, that's really solid that is really solid honestly um that's that's one of the first things i agree like people struggle to get that when they have a hundred followers so three average viewers 27 followers is really good that means honestly you're doing something right already now you just need to draw people in and that's again making content that will bring people to your stream and get them to follow um, so whether it's a catchy title, whether it's, um, whatever you do for a stream, it's, it could just be networking and letting people know, you know, not obviously going into a stream and saying, Hey, I stream too. Cause again, please don't do that. I've talked about this before. Do not just go into a stream and say, Hey, I stream. Will you come and follow me? Please don't ever do that. That that's the worst thing you can do. Um, or Hey, will you raid me when you're done? Don't ever do that. That's a big no, no. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's rude and more than likely it's going to, you're going to get people to dislike you and it's less people that will come and check you out what you're doing. And actually, honestly, what you're doing is perfectly, is perfectly fine. Um, being in a, in a chat, hanging out and getting people to know you is great. That's honestly one of the best ways to network because you're making, you're making, um, uh, genuine connections with people um like you were literally you're making those those connections not for getting new people to come in it's just for the regular like hey 
I like being, I like you, I like what you're doing. Basically doing a Kanye, you've exactly. Except advertise yourself than someone else. 100%, 100%, don't be a Kanye. That's, that's pretty much it. The one thing I will say, and again, this could just be, this is just me. Um, I did actually make a video, or I didn't make a video. I shared a video that talked about this. It could benefit you, and this is just me, to potentially stream less. While that makes that may may that may not make a whole lot of sense. Looking at your streams, you're ba you basically stream every day of the week. Um, looks like the only day that you didn't stream was, looks like, Tuesday. Yeah, you already have a, a great mindset going, like one hundred percent. You're already like, I don't like doing that. I like talking, and I'm and I mean the fact that you're only just now bringing up your your channel after. 158 messages and being here since January 2nd like that's awesome that's awesome to me um it means that you generally like being here and like creating those connections um what I, my biggest suggestion would be thank you I appreciate that like I said I, I do my best I do my best um I definitely don't think I'm the best I think that I, I think there are definitely others uh, I look up to but yeah I think you're, the one thing that would benefit from you would be streaming less and using the t other time you have to create more content for elsewhere. I have fun with you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, I try to make this a, a fun channel to be at. Second is starting up. Exactly. And that's where you do want to see about making a discord. Um, and that's also where you then see about joining other discords as well. Um, again, that's networking. And that's where like I have it in mind where if you may, if you put, if you connect your Twitch to your discord, you will actually will automatically um, make a post in one specific channel saying, hey, this person is live and it makes your name. Like if you look here, it shows that you're live now and there's my self promote live other, which is or live, which is basically an automatic one. It automatically, although for some people, for some reason, doesn't want to where the, it automatically posts. You're not like normally unless it doesn't post. And I've said this before, like. Unless it doesn't post, you're not supposed to make um make your own post. Now, misery. When you say you have a Discord, do you mean you have like your own account, or do you have your own server? Because what you should do is make a server, like how I have it. I have a husky. I this one is mine, my personal one. I just look at it. Yeah. So you, what you want to do is make a server, and if you want um how you do that is I'm trying to remember. Home? Nope, not home. Don't look at Ah, down here. All, if you look at your Discord all the way to the bottom. Um no, that is 548 pings in a whole group. That's in that's spread out a bunch of a bunch of servers. Cause I'm in so many servers, and these are all just like ones from specific streamers. So I was just like, alright, let me just group them all together. Not have a whole running list. No, yeah, no. And that's actually less because I also will do this. I'll like mark it all as red. But yeah, so what you do is when you're in Discord, you go all the way down uh, to the left of your server list and you do add a server and you create your own server. Make like your rules, make um, make you basically your rules and make a few general channels um, first and then start start putting it on your stream and saying, hey, I have a Discord now. Come and join the Discord. We can talk off stream. That's what I always do. Um, I love having people in the Discord. I may not be able to talk in there all the time. I hate when I can't talk in there because some days just get busy with work. But I love when I, I can pop in and I see people talking. Hasn't been very active lately. I haven't been able to be in here. Even during the weekend. My, I'm terrible at this. But I like when I, I get in and I see people posting stuff. I, I see people talking and chatting. It makes me happy to see that because it means that I'm actually I have a community that I'm building. Um, that's my biggest thing. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Oh, one arm side plank. Uh, Mark, what are you doing? So yeah, and that's actually a good goal to hit. Um, and trust me, it, it makes it harder. Um, it makes it harder to stream and get people because yeah, I know I am. Um, it really, what it does is it makes it harder only because 
the only thing people have that they can register with who you are as a streamer is your voice so it just means you have to make your voice engaging um however you do that because again for me it is it's it's more important uh, a mic audio is way more important i will say that cam again helps get people to stay because they can see you i like having a cam because that way people can see me i hate how i look i don't like being on camera but i like having it so people can see me um good mic is a nice night <laughs> exactly um but yeah and there are people who do well with no camera at all um and i always hope i always hope my audio is good i, I would hope that anyone would let me know if my audio is garbage any anytime um but yeah and as long as you get animated with your voice and you kind of help to keep people in then yeah you can you can do really well without a cam it but again like what eli just said it is true that people like to associate a face to the channel not saying it's not possible, but it is something that people do like. Um, so just always keep that in mind. Let me do these one arm plank, this one arm side plank. I'm gonna do it for 30 seconds. But definitely get my workout in. Uh, oh, that's right, it's not over here. I gotta put a button on there for my the pet exercise cam. I always forget. This is also gonna hurt because I don't have my pat and my um mat. Also, Mark, do you want me to do? You could have a uh, avatar too. That's also a good thing to have. Um, Mark, am I doing just one side or am I doing thirty seconds on both sides? Yep, I was say Rue is, is good uh, and has a VTuber one, which I love that. Gotta get the timer up. So many things. One side. Exactly. That, that's 100% true. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> um yeah you can definitely do have someone do a, a still image um i would yeah i would maybe start dropping to every second day um yeah and absolutely all right let me do the other side damn had to do it didn't you Okay. I don't have my. I'm not gonna bother rolling my man. Thank you, Shelby. I'm a savage. Yes, you are. No, oh, please don't torment me with lunges. <sighs> um. See, that's why. Like, honestly, if I had ever thought about doing it before, and having some kind of a mascot, and um. Yeah, and definitely it takes time, misery, trust me. Like it takes time to get that stuff set up. Image your type of content. Yep. 
Yes, and gimmicks are gonna be a great thing. Um, but like honestly, had I ever like decided or had I ever thought about it and not gone with a um not like gotten a camera, I probably would have done my little guy here. His name is Rai, by the way. I don't think I've ever said that. His his name is Rai. R-A-R-A-I. So but this is basically this is this is him. Ah, hands. This is this is my my little character basically. So if I ever did have like have that have a PNG, if I ever not never wanted to be on on um, camera, I probably would have done something like that. <laughs> yeah, I do. That would actually be fun. People get activated. That would actually be kind of cool. Um, in the event the camera breaks, but if the camera breaks, well, yeah, well then I would just put him up. Um, I would hope this camera doesn't break. I literally just got it in January and it was like 80 bucks or no, yeah, 80 bucks. <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah, I think like networking is a big thing. And again, networking is really just making those genuine connections with people. Um, again, that would be really cool. I like your mascot. You were genuine. Yes. Yes. Genuine connections. Um, again, not going in. Like the biggest thing I think is going in without any expectation of getting anything back. You know, I, I, anytime I'm in a community, anytime I'm in a stream, I don't ever expect to be recognized or to have to be shouted out. You know, it's just, I go into a stream to enjoy a stream. I don't, I will not talk about it. <clears throat> um, I don't ever talk about my stream unless it, unless the topic comes up. Like my biggest thing is, you know, again, don't, I, I don't talk about it, but if someone were to say like, Hey, you know, Hey Husky, how was your day? You know, what did you do today? I would be honest. And if I was, if I streamed, I would say, you know, I, I streamed, I did this and that would be the end. That would be the end. But normally I will never bring it up um unless it's unless it's basically brought up before um or if someone knows or, and so it's like go into go into those kind of things go into um making those connections going into, into people's streams being in in um in discords may do go into those without any expectation that you're going to get something from it because you you know you may never get something from that uh, he said it would help me, but he is not. He's my friend at IRL. That kind of sucks that he hasn't. Um, I'm fine as it is. And and as always, again, we're. I mean, I'm always down to help anytime I can. Um. It, it, it's actually, you know what? I wanted to see something. So it looks like wow, yeah, you were honestly. Um, looking at it again, looking at your numbers. Misery, thank you. I appreciate that. I do my best. I do my best to be a, as good of a person and be the person that I would want to be treated as, basically. Um, looking at, though, your numbers again, the fact that you started on June 1st, it looks like, was your first stream. And in, like, two weeks, you've gotten that many people. That means you've gotten two... Wait, how did it go down in hours watched? That's odd. Um... Yeah, like the fact that in two weeks you've gotten that many followers and you're and you're an average three. That's really good. Trust me, that's a lot better than me. <laughs> Comparing it to me, I was doing garbage. I know Twitch, Twitch being Twitch and Sully Gnome being Sully Gnome. Like I, I will. Uh, I don't know if this will go that far back. Let me see. Uh. I mean, I'm doing, I'm getting, I have double the average viewers for 30 days and I've been streaming a lot longer. Trust me. Like it, it's, it's also a very big road. Two days while I was streaming max. I really, oh, um, we max. Was, I was like, who's max? I don't know who max is. Um, Hey, look, I'm online now. Um, oh, Maximilian. Okay. 
Um, but like looking at this, I can go more. I started streaming. Yeah, started streaming back in July of 2016. Um, hit 20,000 viewers. Dang, and see that's what can like can make things difficult. Also, um, yeah, like trust me. For, for the same amount of time, July 19th to the 29th, so a little bit less time, I struggled. The dude's the only huge streamer I watch. He's pretty entertaining, plays most games I, that I'm into. Nice. That would be pretty cool. That's got to be pretty cool. But yeah, so it's like, like I can show you my numbers, and I don't, like, I'm not that weird. I didn't stream during August. It's weird that I, I don't remember streaming back that far, but I guess I did. Um... This is also streaming directly from my Xbox, which was not fun. It really sucked. Um, no, it, it's trust me, it's a road. It, it, it's a big road that you kind of have to go through. Um, <clears throat> and you know, it's it's it takes time and it, it takes a lot of learning that you have to do. I think. Um, but yeah, kind of um, prepared to walk it. And I think that's the thing. You have to be prepared for the fact it's going to take a while to see any kind of return from the effort you're putting in. But you have to be willing to put that effort in. And again, if you make TikToks, if you make YouTube videos, if you post on Twitter, if you post on... Exactly, and don't wear yourself out. Has helped me being Buddhist, I think. That's all, that would definitely help, I'm sure. Um... You know, posting on other socials, the biggest thing is Twitch is just not discoverable. There, that's the that's the worst thing with Twitch is the discoverability factor. There just is none. It's, you know, um, exactly. Don't put everything, don't put all your effort into YouTube and you don't see any return from it. Don't put all your effort just into Twitch. Again, the worst thing is when people just want to do Twitch and just grow from Twitch. You're, you don't grow a huge amount from Twitch. You grow by doing stuff on Twitch, turning it into content for other places. God, I look so oily right now. I hate it. Ugh. Yeah. Um. It, it's like again, you. I've found all the all the people that I'm currently following that are online. I can I can name where most of these have come from. <sighs> Detune. Is from a uh it's from a Facebook group I'm in. General Wiggins was a raid. Keth B Keth Katie Beth B. Okay, I don't know off the top of my head. Clean Fowl is from a is from TikTok. Rhyme Mage is from a, a raid. So not saying that raids don't work. Raids just don't depend on raids to get you people. Um because you may not find the the people that you want to follow you. Uh, from them uh, arachna is from rating and that's from someone suggesting here in the channel uh wolf 87 is an is another uh one that was suggested don't be like me and only stream once a month that too although mark you're still doing good though uh caribou is from i don't get many so i don't rely on them at all yeah and and yeah and also exactly you have to make a huge impression and like the one thing um i i reference his video a lot but i think it, he really makes a good point um and actually i'll find the video and i will link it because i think it is it's super useful information um <clears throat> he talked about this he actually talked about that what you need to do is you still need to have a bedrock of content for people to look at when you do any kind of collaboration, when you get a raid, um, anything like that. You need to have something for people to look at and go, yeah, I like watching this person's stuff. Uh, it is right there. <clears throat> Gosh, sorry about that. But I do, I, I will always, I suggest this video um we talked about it back in january i watched the video made a lot of notes i literally i will show you all the notes i made uh, i made 
this was my my like note script that I read off of and talked about the video from. This this and Eli, you may remember this. Oh, absolutely. I appreciate that. And definitely trust me, we like to have fun and we like to talk in there. But yeah, so this was I talked about his video. This exact video. I suggest it. Um let me I'm gonna Where's my air copy? So please take a look at his video. He he has some useful information, but one of the things he talked about was that was <clears throat> if like one, don't don't rely on other people bringing your audience to you. What you need to do is you need to go out and find your audience. Um, essentially, that's like dumbing it down. Yeah, Ludwig's tips. Um, <clears throat> and it's like a 50 minute video but I suggest watching it. He has so much useful information. Oh no, you're good. You're good, Eli, I understand. And like the biggest thing is like a lot of people are, say, you know, don't listen to the big streamers because they grew so long ago. They grew with the, with the old Twitch. This is the new Twitch. He grew in the last like two years, three years. He started in 2018. He knows what the new meta of Twitch is and how to grow on Twitch now. He... He's someone to listen. He's a big streamer to listen to. You don't want to listen to a streamer like Shroud who grew nine, ten years ago. I'm just going to join the hot tub and hey, you do you. It'll work. OK, it'll probably work. Trust me. Um, but yeah, don't listen to Shroud. Don't listen to Ninja. Don't listen to like all those older big streamers. They don't know what Twitch is like now because they have their audience already. It's the it's really people like Ludwig um small ant small ant is another one I, I i talk about him because he's a really good example i think he again he's a reason for the sub goal idea down there <laughs> um he's one of those you like you look for the streamers that grew recently and go okay why did they grow what did they do differently the fact that like ludwig's big thing is let me make let me make my youtube videos yeah, absolutely. I'm always open and the plus it's just knowledge for everyone. Um, so feel free to share it, Mark. <clears throat> um You know, he makes content, he makes his videos with co the content in mind. Like the last video I saw, he did on stream. He, all of his videos are done on stream. I know, I'm curious too. I'm wondering if it's what we're <laughs> looking at or if it's something completely different. Um the subs yeah and like I, i'm i'm not pointing out the sub thing like the sub goal to encourage people like yeah it encourages people to sub but if if i don't ever hit that goal that's okay that's perfectly fine oh twitch is youtube live exactly uh, i'm trying to get this oh wait yes 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 <clears throat> No, I, I actually have seen that video. I definitely suggest watching that video as well. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and link this in the Discord. Mark, we have, to, I, you know, after the whole, um, after the whole, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, the thing that you guys had me do, I'm skeptical of everything now. Trust me, both you and Eli. Um, let me go. I'm going to put this in the content creator tips under resources. This is another one, too. Bad advice is killing your growth. I definitely suggest watching that. <clears throat> I don't care. I don't care. It may have been one time. But thank you also, Misery, for joining us in the Discord. Um. But yeah, uh, what was I saying? Oh, everything else. That's true, you have. Um. Yeah, I don't mention the sub goal to be like, hey, I want you guys to hit this sub. No, it's literally if you guys want me to see me do something, I'll put it up there as a goal because if it's if it's something that like, especially if it's something I need to pay for to do, then I'm going to be more inclined to go, hey, I've got this goal then. Let's hit the goal and I'll do that. It's not for me to say, guys, I want you, I, I need you to hit this number. No, 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 no. If I never hit this number, that's okay. If I never hit 10 because i'm at nine right now if i never hit 10 that's okay absolutely always willing to help um 
but I don't like I don't I never like talking about subs. I know it's a necessary evil of streaming because you want if you if, especially if you're looking to go full time, which I am, you need to do something to kind of encourage that, which is why I have things like I have the special um, sub only chat. There's going to be votes going on in there also um, to kind of give a little bit of, a, of an insight into that. Um, I also do YouTube sneak peeks in there. So I do have things like that are for subs to encourage, hey, if you want to sub, if you want to see this stuff, got to do it. But it's also just never a requirement. Um, all my emotes are available to everyone. I don't have subscriber only emotes. I do have them. Um, he's only streaming for money. Yeah, And yeah, and that's I don't think you should be. I think that money should be a secondary and a, and a means to an end, I guess. For me, it's like I want to entertain people. <laughs> oh boy mark um i stream to entertain people i stream to again educate people and yeah i want if i want to do that full time then yeah there is a little bit of a money incentive there but if i never get to do it full time then that's the reality of it you know it's a distant third and i agree i think that it's right around second or third for me too um Gotta go. Absolutely, Nick Dicey. Thank you very much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Hopefully, we'll catch you on the next stream. Not on the next one. We'll, catch, we'll see you when we see you. But have a good night. Thank you. Yeah, I, that's. I think people who do it just for money, um, they give streaming and content creating a bad name. Like, yeah, do I want to make money from streaming? Yes. I'm not gonna say no. I don't. But the reason I want to do it is because I want to do this for a, as a, as a career uh, i've i've put that in like out in the open so much i want to do this for a career in order to do it for a career money is necessary but my main focus is hey i want to make sure people are entertained they have a good time in the stream if they aren't having a good time i'm doing something wrong if they're having a bad time because of me needing money there's something wrong that that's really all it is 100 percent. like again like it's kind of hard to put it i think into words of like again wanting to do this full time is not the same as only wanting to make money from it it's always fun here i appreciate it exactly exactly because then you're then you're only you know you're only going after subs you're only going after donations like you're only, like i that's why i have such a low bar on like the sounds because it's not about money for me or again on and and this is to like plug my merch a little bit because i do have merch i do have merch i'm gonna put that in there costs 10k a stream to watch me that's why i, I figure don't be amaranth exactly but i have my merch not because i want to make a ton of money on it it's because i want i want to have something out there of my stream like i know there's only been a few people who have bought my stuff and that's okay the fact that like I have some of my own merch, that's actually what I care about more, more than anything else. Um, it, it, it was a really different feeling for me to have merch and have it in my hand and have, and, and look at it and go, this is my logo on some kind of item like that. That's different to me. I never thought I was going to have that. If that's all that I have, if that's the only merch that there is out there, that's fine. I don't know what the shipping is. It's all through stream elements. Um, so I don't know off the top of my head. I hope it's not. I mean, and I, I'm not, I'm, it probably would be. I, I hate to say it. Um, and again, like, I don't want anyone to feel, ever feel pressured to buy anything. Um, I do have an idea for, for merch. Um, so there is going to be something kind of coming up. Yeah, it really will probably depend on like t-shirt. Maybe not. Mouse pad, maybe not. Sticker, probably not. I wonder if I can see. All right, Husky. What's up, Shelby? Uh, yeah, and absolutely. Oh, no. <laughs> Shelby, why? Um, no, and, and again, I don't, I don't want anyone to ever feel like they need to. I know, like, Eli has talked about wanting to get a, a um, yeah, packages start going more. Like, Eli, you've talked about wanting to get a, a mouse pad. And, like, you know what? Like, if you never get one, even after you said about getting one, that's fine. 
like i i'm perfectly okay with that um i don't ever expect anyone to buy it it's there to to be bought if people want to have something with my logo on it it's never a necessity though so just like subbing never a necessity it's great you get some perks but i don't want you to feel like you have to do something you have to pay money to be here to enjoy the stream my big thing is be here hang out you know enjoy if, if if all you do is you just watch the stream and you talk or even if you just watch and lurk if you watch and lurk that's perfectly fine full send grow the beard that would be a lot because i there gets to a point where i'm just like like even right now i'm getting a little itchy on my beard I don't know. There was still a goal. There was a goal to get my hair to get me to dye my hair green. Remember that? That never happened. They're gonna do it one way or another. But I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. No, yeah, absolutely. And Eli, I'm not saying that like obviously pressuring you. Like I don't care. Like if you do buy one, great. If not, oh well. Like that. That's my thing. Is like I. Again, if if anyone if anyone ever like I know I had Wyvern. I think is what it was. Wyvern said about how he only could sub to one streamer because he liked their and he liked their emotes more than the ones i had at the time said that's fine like i don't want you to feel pressured to lose a sub to to because i think it was only the pit, a twitch prime sub i don't want you to feel pressured to to use my use your sub on someone else or if you can only sub because that's all you can afford is five dollars a month then don't sub to me. I like I've told people and I've even told people like if you if you can watch two or three streams <laughs> Rue, thank you so much though for that prime sub. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you and thank you. Speaking of prime subs, I you did not have to do that, but thank you so much. <laughs> so I guess it actually does work to to remind people of primes. But I I appreciate that. Thank you, Rue. That really means a lot. Um, like I said, it's just, um, if, if I can, if people will show support, great. If, if they can't, you know, if they can just be here and just not even talk, that's fine. Uh, absolutely, Misery. Let me go ahead and do these lunges while you're asking your question. As much as I hate these. I'm not going to do any weights, though. Also got Todd in here, by I mean, I did, but I, you know what I mean? Uh, or no. Okay. Uh, why do some people charge a lot to sub others? Don't, um, yeah, there's actually a standard price. So there's the prime sub, which is technically free for you. Well, it's technically, yes, I did five on each leg. I did cause it was one and a half, three, four and a half. And then I did the last one, the last fifth one for the last leg. I did all five. Don't worry. Um, so yeah, so there's the the tier subs or yeah the 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 three subs exactly. There we go. Nightmarish. Because there's the Twitch Prime, which is technically free. You're not paying anything extra. It's just paying for your Twitch Prime or your, yeah your. No, I'm not gonna do that. Um, so that one doesn't cost anything extra. And then you have the tier one, which is four ninety nine. Tier two, nine ninety nine. Tier three, twenty four ninety nine. And like for me, I will be honest. I've got four emotes up, three for tier one and one for tier two, because I don't expect anyone really for a standard sub. How is it nine ninety nine for a standard sub? Misery. Do you think okay? I was going to ask, could you send me, just whisper me the link for their channel? I I just want to go and look and see for myself. I'm not, I'm not to like hate or rag on anyone, but I, I am curious. Reasons for, yeah, and everyone has, 
really had definitely everyone i don't have like i i'm i'm struggling i struggle to come up with um ideas for subs um mine's 5.99 and i could see different regions being that but at the same time like misery if you see mine and they're this they're different prices than his then that's just really weird um how do you whisper all right you're a 30 second song there hey, i mean that's good though um how do you whisper i don't remember i'm not i barely ever whisper anyone i think when you're on the stream i don't know if this will work um oh i think it's that is pretty worth it just click on their name Okay, I'll do it. I think maybe I do have to. I hope you're over. There we go. All right, I just whispered you, Misery. Thank you, Eli. So yeah, I just want to look. I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna blast them. I'm not gonna share. I do want to just take a look for myself to see about this though. Let's see something. Let me pick genre and theme. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah, their tier one is is four ninety nine, tier two is nine ninety nine, and tier three is twenty four ninety nine. Huh, that is odd then. Now I was gonna say misery. When you look at mine, does it show you? Um, no, no, you're okay. I wanted to make sure because I want if if that's possible, I would just like to see why someone would do that. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Um. When you look at mine, does it show the same prices? I wonder, because it could be a a regional thing. Yes. Okay. So it shows nine ninety nine, whatever, whatever. Here one. So it has to be a regional thing then. So that I guess when when we said the prices before, it's not it wasn't accurate, but it is. You know, regional is different. Um, yeah, YouTube lets you adjust the sub price when you, or the, um, is it sub or is it like supporter or something? It's basically their sub. <clears throat> yeah, so that's really all it is. It's not that it's, it's, I was going to say, if they can let you set the, the price, that's really weird. Their version, yeah. Yeah, which I was like, okay, when am I going to price, like, I, if, when I was thinking about going to YouTube streaming, and after I did it for two weeks, if I ever got to the point of monetizing it, I was like, okay, what am I going to price this at anyway? But, I didn't have to worry about that. I'm not going to YouTube. Um, I wanted to actually see one thing, because I almost forgot overlays. Six, six, six. I don't know if you can do that. Although that would be, I would do that too. Trust me, Mark. <laughs> I mean, I made jokes about the fact that I hit um on one video on YouTube and one video on TikTok. I hit six hundred and sixty-six um uh views. Oh, Rue, you beat the bit boss, by the way. That's insane then. Yep, it doesn't show up because again, we don't have the bit boss on this scene. That's I'm the same way, Mark. I really am. I especially because a lot of the ones I'm thinking of are are um cosplay ones. Um when you subscribed, you beat the bit boss. So I have a little um I have a bit boss and it takes damage. Whoever's the bit boss takes damage. And then if you kill the bit boss, you take their place. It was nightmarish, but 
when you subscribed, you did enough damage to because subscribers, a sub or resub does 300 damage. I think they were, I think Nightmarish was at like 190. Rip Yavi. There we go. Thank you very much for that bit. I appreciate that, Mark. Rip Yavi. There we go. I've been slain by Rue. Oh, that cube. I love that cube bone. That is insane, though, for, for it to cost that much. Yes, yeah, so like now, Rue, now you're at 200 out of 201 health. So, I I I like Cubone a lot. Not my favorite, but I like Cubone a lot. It is adorable, and it's also very sad. And I'm convinced that it could be a Charmander with it with a um with a Charizard skull on his head. Want to hear a kicker? Absolutely. Like we're we're going over four hours now. <laughs> I'm dying. Mari dying. <coughs> Gosh. All right, let me do these abs. For every 100 people, 100 you take out here, they take 30. Wait. I do like Okay, I like the idea of it being a, a baby Kangaskhan, but at the same time Looking at the skull shape and looking at the um <coughs> the skull shape and looking at the the eye inside, it looks much more like a Charmander with a Charizard skull. Um I'll get back I'll get to the it's a 30%. That's a rough that's rough on that. That is. I don't think it's barely anything. Well, then again, I haven't I haven't had to pay taxes on because I haven't really earned that much. Um, I never got any like tax statements ever either. That's insane. Like I know that like in order to get that, that's so, that that's really dumb. That's a lot of money that they have to take out. I mean, granted again, no, Mark, no, that is not an exercise. I will refund you, but that is not an exercise. I'm doing the, the crunches, uh, bear crawls. Min I know it's past midnight right now. I think I think we're gonna say no more exercises after this, so we can, so I can actually work on getting to the end. A late long stream, yeah, yeah. That okay, that's true. The fact that it's an income, okay. So you're talking about an income tax. That actually makes sense then, because that's the same thing for here, um, in the U.S. You do have to claim it on taxes because it is an income. Um, great thing is though. Everything that um, that you buy for stream, like video games, equipment, when you sub and and when you sub and resub to people, basically any expenses that are for Twitch, you can still write off as a business expense too. Uh, any bits that you donate, things like that, that's all business expenses. If it's it, it well, you also do have to remember, pay tax. Oh. That's really weird then. Never mind. Okay, that's really screwed up then. Cause like I know you get how you hit hundred payout, you get a hundred payout, and then you have to pay taxes on that hundred. Not you get hundred, Twitch takes thirty. I know for like Twitch takes fifty percent. But that's like you don't even it doesn't accumulate. That's that's so odd, and it, that I, that makes no sense. Here, let me do these bear, crawl, bear crawls. I'll do the five. So, think bear crawls. It was basically just. Excuse me. Okay. I don't know if, if I'm even gonna be doing these right, but I'm sorry if I did not. I'm also doing all this in jeans. I want you all to know that. Doing this at midnight in jeans. 
yeah so basically the way that it works on twitch or at least here in the u.s it's like you know out of every sub i get two dollars and fifty cents that still has to that that still has to accumulate up to a hundred dollars and then out of that hundred dollars is what we would get taxed on as income yeah, it's on the spot. It's not after you get the $100 payout. That's really odd. So actually, I guess really the way that it is in Australia isn't that much worse. Yeah, dollar for four or dollar 40 for 100 bits. Yeah. So yeah, well actually no, even even worse nightmarish. What it is is like so if it's dollar 44 bits that means Twitch gets a dollar forty, or they get forty cents, and then out of that hundred bit, or the, out of that hundred or one dollar for every hundred bits, Twitch takes fifty cents of that, and the streamer gets the other fifty cents. Subs is around. So really, out of the dollar forty, Twitch is getting ninety cents, and the streamer gets fifty cents. Uh, subs is around half. So yeah, five dollar tier one. All around half goes to Twitch, the other half goes to streamer. So like, yeah, two fifty. So, yeah, yeah, it's insane. Government never wanted Twitch here, really? How come? I wonder. Let me do these bear crawls. I'm doing these right. But... I don't, are you sure? Just one out. <sighs> oh geez. I mean, I feel like that's all over on Twitch. Let me see. Let me take a look. I can take a look at my stuff actually. Uh, me, you might be right, actually. Is this counting today's? Yes, it is. Um, Go all of June, that might help. No, actually you're right. It all the bits do go to the streamer. Um I was thinking it was half the bits, never mind. So that that's my bad on that. I, I take the blame for that. Uh but you're right, it is the I mean obviously the the subs um are split 50-50. So, straight donations, no. Twitch doesn't take, it, well, it depends, I guess. Like, I have my donation, or no, 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 not donations. I apologize. They are tips, they're not donations. I'm not a charity. That's the way that, like, a lot of people have basically said, what you need to do is change the language. They're not donations, they are a tip. You're providing service, you're not a charity. Um, But, like, I do mine through PayPal. PayPal takes a portion, but they take like, I think on a $5, they take less than a dollar. Yeah, I know what you mean though. Yeah, it's $1.40 plus tax tips. I do. Yep, and coffee is another good one. Um, There's like Tiltify, I think, that I'm not interested. Yeah, and that's absolutely like, if you're not interested in the money, then it's not something that you really like if you do become affiliated you do still need to learn like about the taxes and stuff um but you kind of learn about that stuff as you go it's it's definitely worth knowing it's it's 100 worth knowing um again knowing the fact that hey 
I will owe taxes on this. I'm going to owe, and actually that's what a lot of people, like uh, the general rate that a lot of people have talked about and a lot of bigger streamers have talked about has been, hey, you know, when you get your revenue from Twitch, whatever, whether it's through tips to uh, to PayPal, sub or revenue from, from Twitch, save about 30% of that to um, go towards, um, to go towards taxes. Basically, because <laughs> bonk uh, affiliate, I mean, and that's and that's trust me. I think Twitch doesn't do a really good job of educating people on affiliate. That's the thing is a lot of people go into the affiliate program excuse me, without any kind of knowledge as to what the affiliate program really means. Um, and that's like I, I made that mistake. I went in not knowing anything about it. And I think people really need to learn before they even hit it. Or when they do hit it, they need to be taught it. I, I And that's just my opinion on it. Um, I, I think it's... it's um, th There's just a lot of things that, like, you know, people don't, just don't learn about. And, and that's not any... I think that's more an issue on Twitches. Uh, they do have a page for it. Let me see if I can find it. But again, a lot of it just like a lot of it. This is going to be a little bit more about general information, I think. Let me see. No, that's not really a good one. Ah, well, there's this one. And Okay, yeah. Joining and then uh, an FAQ as well. I'll be back. I go, Absolutely nightmarish. I appreciate it. Well, we may have traded someone. We'll see. I don't know because it is getting late, but I'm also not really tired right now. That's actually a funny thing is I'm not really tired. Maybe it's all the workouts getting getting like blood pumping. Um, they do. They do. Qu they cover a bit. But I did. I still think they could do better um, with with no no more drags. But I still think they could do better with just teaching people about it. Um, what are you playing next stream? So next stream is going to be Warzone. Actually, it is Warzone Wednesday. Um, we will not be doing any more achievement hunting until Scarlet Nexus comes out. Um, Scarlet Nexus is going to be a really good game. We played the demo like two weeks ago, I think. Um, if you are interested on my YouTube channel, I do have. Four of the five parts from the uh, Scarlet Nexus gameplay. I do also have a review that I made. My very first video game review um, on there. So if you're interested, go check that out. For anyone, really, if you want to see. Um, yeah, I appreciate that, Misery. And yes, I'm excited for it. It's been a while. Um, I'm going to apologize now. Husky Baron Mark. Ooh, that could be fun. Oh, okay. There we go. That's right. You were, you were there. I appreciate that. I'm sorry about that. Trust me. My mind goes everywhere. Um, but yeah, I, it's going to be fun. I'm going to apologize though for probably less chat interaction. Um, I'm like, that's part of the reason I've stayed. I've strayed a little ways away from multiplayer games, at least ones like that, because, um, I haven't done a June. This will be your one June stream then. Um, that's the reason I've, I've kind of veered away from, from it is not even really like part of it is the viewer numbers. Now that I've gotten a better community, I think it's okay, but it's more of, I hate not being able to interact with chat and like with something like Warzone, you kind of have to have your focus on the game or else you're going to, you're going to be dead in an instant. Um, trust me, I had that happen just when I was playing, I've been playing it off stream. I've been like, all right. And then look over and I'm like, Oh, and I'm dead. Um, so I'm going to apologize, like just up front about that. Um, if I miss messages, if I'm not as interactive with chat, I apologize. Um, eventually, you know, maybe once I get better at doing it, I will have better. I just got three wins today. I'll carry you. I mean, I've got like two wins, but you get three wins in a day. You're better than me. I got, th I got two wins in like months. 
and carry to the grave. Baron will also be carrying me. You both, at least this time, Baron's shoulders won't ache as much because you, both of you can carry me. Trust me. Um. But yeah, I uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be a fun time. Uh, and then after that is actually our sponsored stream. On Friday we have a sponsored stream. And then next Wednesday is going to be a game that's also... My words on the name is Mark is Trash. That's okay. You're better than me. You're better than me, probably. Trust me. Um, And actually, so Eli, the one game I was telling... I was, uh, or I was um, talking about... Um, that Night Squad 2. T I guess technically you can call it a sponsored stream in a way because... Looking at the stuff, um, where is it? I looked at it earlier, or I looked at it the other day when I was actually doing, I was getting everything set up. It said something about sponsored. I will do my best. I will do my best that I can. Where is it? His screams make me happy. But that we're not doing, it's not a um, trick or treat one this time maybe have mods yeah i was gonna say mods will probably i mean funny thing is one of my mods is gonna be playing with me i'm probably gonna be doing like a little bit of solo um warzone maybe like an hour of solo and then going into <laughs> oh my god my... <laughs> um that's true we can't it doesn't mean we can't scare him um but yeah definitely i they're definitely gonna have their work cut out for them Really, anything like that that's like multiplayer or that needs my attention, one hundred percent, they're gonna they're gonna definitely be taken over, uh, for those which I feel bad about. Also, kind of why mods are there. Um, it's gonna be fun though. All of them are gonna be fun. Uh, I look forward to it all. I look forward to Warzone. It's been a while since I played. Um, seriously, like I've I've gotten some plays in that's what i would do yeah it, it's definitely like um one of those they're definitely gonna need to help out but they'll i know they i trust all of them like i said baron's gonna be the only one that won't be able to because he's gonna be in the game with me and he's probably gonna be streaming as well so um that's he, it's not, he's not gonna be much help but I, I don't blame him just for the online stuff exactly just for the online stuff like all i can I can handle most stuff. Absolutely, Eli. I appreciate that. Um, I'll borrow Amp's badge. I appreciate that. I will let you know if Amp isn't able to. I'd be like, hey, hey, Eli. Mod. All of a sudden, just mod. There you go. Mod for a day. Kind of like king for a day, but without as much as much responsibility. And it's not nearly as luxurious either. Um... I appreciate that though. Thank you, thank you for offering for sure. Um, that really means a lot. Let me see who all is online right now. Uh, let's see who all we got online at the moment. We got ooh. Um, but yeah. So I don't know. Um, again. Misery, if you have any other questions or anything you want any advice on, um, again, feel free. You can always reach out. That's true. You are trustworthy where it matters. I, I mean, with workouts, it's okay. I'll I'll eventually forgive you. I have 120 points. Oh, oh no, Rue, darn. How, how could you have wasted all of your points on making me work out? Oh, no. How much are my actually? Oh, they're 500. Oh, yeah, you're good. Um, but yeah, misery. If you have any questions, you always feel free to, to, um, if you want to message me in the discord, that's where I, I do tend to, um, I tend to be able to see messages, but you can always do, you know, Twitter, um, discord on here. If you want, oh, I can make it more 21 K Eli. How do you have so much? Ugh. It's funny because everyone essentially has like double the points in a way because like I noticed that like everyone's points stayed the same when I became an affiliate again. 
Um, I know. I, I appreciate that. Trust me. I mean, when I when the only day I don't work out is Friday, and then you guys make me work out. Really, if any, if you're ever gonna make me work out, Friday is the day to do it because the Friday is the day I decided I'm not gonna do any cardio, I'm not gonna do any workout because I want to make sure I'm on time for shrimp. Yes, husky swole. There we go. Uh, I've learned a lot today. That's what the flex is for. Um, strong husky. <laughs> I need to be all the strong. But yeah, absolutely misery. Uh, again, we're always here to help. Um, that's also why if you ever look, if you look in the Discord, we have a specific area um, under content creator tips uh, for discussion and tips and advice. I tend to post in tips and advice, um, things I just think streamers should know about. Uh, again, resources are going to be videos that I find helpful for people. Um, but the big one, again, discussion. If you have a question, Feel free to ask in there or if you if it's something you want to ask more privately let me know um again you can message me uh and i will do what i can to answer again if it doesn't need to be private i would prefer it to be in the actual discord because again other people can chime in and, and give their opinions as well um i i'm by far not the most knowledgeable i'm by far not the most experienced person um i just do what i can to help uh and want to help as much as possible. So I want to provide that like resource for people. Question, can I have a million puddings? Yes, you can. I'm not going to give you the million puddings, Rue, but you can have them. So the community is all about it. Exactly. It really is. It, it's all about everyone coming together, I think. <laughs> well, I don't know. You didn't ask if, if, if I can give you a million. You got to remember, Rue, it's like a genie, okay? You have to be very specific with your question. You ask, can you have them? I said, yes, you can. You didn't ask, can you can you give me or can I give you? You just asked if you can have it, okay? <laughs> oh my god. So you gotta that you gotta be very specific with your questions, okay? Darn logic, exactly. See? I'm using this 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 thing up here. Um, oh my god, Mark. Oh my goodness, this is great. This is why I love. This is why I love this community. Um, husky, can you buy me a husky? No, I can't buy myself a husky. So you did go wholesome. Mark went went the opposite. <laughs> um. Yeah, trust me. I can't. I buy, I can't buy myself a husky. So you, I can't buy you one. I'm sorry. I will always turn it around. Um. All right, Mark. You did suggest Sasha, right? I don't. I think. Oh. Yeah. There's the iron gun. I go. Sasha Gray. Wait, no. No, no, I know. All of a sudden, like, seeing, seeing Sasha, I was like, okay, no, no. I recognize that name. We talked about that name before. I know we did. <laughs> I'm fairly certain I, I... Has nothing to do with the game. Yeah, no. Nope. Yeah, nope. Mm -mm, nope. Not doing that. Basically, Amaranth. 50 Shades of Husky. No, she's not a hot tub streamer. She probably would do it. She probably could do it, but she's not a hot tub streamer. I'm I'm I already opened and searched for her on Twitch. She was very wholesome. Yeah, probably now. I'm not doing that though. Bad mark, exactly. Um, what I am gonna do though. Who wants to see some uh some some more spooky ghosts like from Friday? Also, again, like I said earlier, it was very weird to not be streaming yesterday. <clears throat> um it was very odd. Um I got stuff done, but it was very odd. I, I am not used to it after streaming on Saturdays for so long and not not like having to cancel for anything else. It was very strange. Um, 
but it did give me like i said it gave me a whole day to get stuff done so um but yeah who wants to see some spooky ghosts like from yesterday spooky scary skeletons spooky scary skeletons you requested so i gotta be absolutely eli no problem i understand we're gonna be we are gonna be going ahead and raiding because i do need to get to bed i have work tomorrow as much as i don't want to I'm thinking about like requesting two weeks off next month or maybe the month after. I don't know. We'll see. Just take time to work on stuff. I also got to work on packing and stuff. So, yay. <clears throat> okay. Let's do spooky, scary skeletons. Everyone, thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. This is, I, I know most of you probably are already used to all this stuff. Absolutely. See you, Shelby. Thank you for being here. Uh, but everyone, I do want to say again, thank you so much. Uh, you help make the stream what it is, trust me. It wouldn't be nearly as fun without everyone. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. We are going to go ahead and we're going to raid someone. We're going to raid Sergeant Sudoku, who's playing, again, Phasmophobia right now. But if you aren't already part of the Discord, for some ungodly reason, on some odd reason, I should say, join the Discord. Uh, again, we'd like to hang out and talk, and subs are going to have some votes in there soon. Uh, Twitter as well. Check out my Twitter. I'm getting better with posting like daily thoughts and stuff on there. Um, for any cosplay stuff and for uh, updates on videos, you can always check out my Facebook. Uh, Instagram is going to be a mix of cosplay, normal, and fitness stuff. Just posted a picture of me actually feeling pretty decent about myself, so figured it was a good thing to do. Uh, YouTube as well. I'm going to be posting some more uh, content videos. I've got a Phasmophobia one and a Pokemon Showdown one ready to come up. Uh, and then also TikTok. It's going to be worth some short form videos along with on YouTube for YouTube shorts as well. So feel free to check all those out. Uh, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna raid if you aren't already if you aren't subbed go ahead and nope wrong one Wrong one don't worry about that <clears throat> If you aren't subbed go ahead and use this raid message copy and paste it into the uh, Into the streamers chat that we are raiding and if you are subbed Like Rue is with that new prime sub uh, go ahead and grab this message and get ready to paste that into their chat as well. Uh, but everyone, again, thank you so much for being here and hanging out. I appreciate you all. Uh, let me get this put in. Once again, the next stream will be on Wednesday. This coming Wednesday, the 16th, at least for here. Um, normal time, 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, it will be down below um, in the stream the uh stream schedule i gotta fix that because it's still showing saturday uh simmons helped point that out i believe uh but thank you everyone for being here i appreciate you all um you all are amazing and uh thank you again to mark for the bit rue for the prime sub nightmares for the bits squirrel wolf i know you're not here anymore but thank you very much for the raid as well um everyone let's go show warm husky pack love to sergeant sudoku i appreciate you all we'll see you all on wednesday if not wednesday we'll see when we see you thank you very much have a great night everyone bye <laughs>